Hello and welcome back to another episode of Movie Bug Movie Talks. Hopefully today without any power cuts, so I can stay here for the whole episode. <laughs> um, now today I am so excited and so grateful to be joined by a very good friend of mine. He's got a fantastic channel here on YouTube. Um, top link in the description will take you to his channel if you're not subscribed already. I'm going to bring him in now. It is the wonderful... <laughs> And you're going to love this. Look at what he's wearing and what he's got in the background. Mr. Geordie Paul. <laughs> Good evening, uh, one and all, and welcome to the promotional Rise of Skywalker live stream. I'm sure we will all be watching this absolute masterpiece after this live stream at nine o'clock ish. Oh, dear. I know I will be now. <laughs> just, just the way that, oh, it's just so good. Oh. Such a good film. Oh, it, reminds, it reminds me of a prequel to Birds of Prey in many ways. Yeah, yeah, it's on that level. Where, where did you get that poster from? Is it like, is it like cotton or is it? It's, is no, it... no, it's, a, it's a, um, I think got a Amazon. Ages ago. Oh, really? oh, okay. You didn't because buy it especially for me then. <laughs> no, you're not, you're not that lucky, son. I've got, because I've got, I've got the Force, the idea was, I was, because I've got them on my wall, I was going to yeah. get Force Awakens. Mm-hmm. This one in Rogue One. I had Rogue yeah. One, but in the house move, I've lost it. But as you oh, would know, right. I will mm -hmm. not get The Last Jedi. So that will be yeah. missing from it. But The Empire Strikes Back is now back up on the wall. Um, oh, but yeah, okay. I kind of, like with you, with all your posters, I yeah. interchange them. So I've got mm -hmm. like one, two, three, five frames. And yeah. I, inter I interchange them now and mm -hmm. again to kind of freshen up the room. Well, that's the best thing to do because like mine, I was so stupid when I made mine. I double sided taped them to the wall originally, so I was sort of stuck with them. But then I ripped them all off last month and now they're all Velcroed, so I can do the same. I can change them about if I want to. Because I, I, think, I, I think it's nice to do that, change them about. I'll use the command strips, you know, those ones mm. where you like, pull them down or whatever. But yeah, you're right because in front of me was Avengers, Avengers Infinity War, and yeah. then now it's the first purge. And then behind me up here mm -hmm. is Dunkirk. But before that, was oh, right. Alien yeah. Covenant. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've got like Back to the Future, Joker, yeah. Prometheus. Your favourite is in the corner. My favourite? Oh, God, what's that? Oh. Captain, Captain Marvel. Oh, God, I love Captain Marvel. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and we've got the, the uh, Wolverine and then yeah. Empire, Mando, uh, and uh, the Hobbit. Now, the only reason I've got the Hobbit one is, of course, Lord of Rings is just, I just like, I'll tell you what I'll do mm -hmm. because I'm not attached to anything. Watch this. Well, I'm a, yeah. I am attached to it, but. Oh, it's like the imagery here of them holding the sword and bending I down. really like that poster as well, to be fair. That's a really cool poster. And that's why I got that one, just purely on yeah. the uh, the imagery alone. That's like me. I've got, I've got like a Predator one. And I like Predator, but it's not one of those movies where I'm like, oh, I need a poster for it on the wall. I just love the poster that I've got. So I was yeah, like, oh, exactly. that one could go up. Well, that's the same yeah. with the Wolverine one. The Wolverine yeah. one, I've got the um, the um that Japanese one yeah, from the so Wolverine. It's yeah, just, I love the artwork. The film ain't the best, mm. but just no. that the whole because all the yeah. characters from that were done in like mm. the the ink and the paper and everything. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I completely agree. Those the, the, the posters for that movie were stunning, really good. Just the film wasn't as good. No, it, it wasn't too bad though. I didn't think it wasn't Origins. Well, let's be honest. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> the only good well, thing about X Men Origins was Gambit. 
I don't know. I'm not a big fan on the actor who played him. I love Gambit, but I'm not huge on the actor who they had. No, I agree with you. I think it's because mm. I was of the '90s show. Yeah, I had Gambit in that, mm -hmm. and then because he was in it briefly, even though mm -hmm. it wasn't like it was just a fact of oh, Gambit's in the yeah. X Men yeah. Wolverine universe, and that's why I was kind of like mm. happy about that. But He's the blonde of... shit. Yeah, yeah. I I really want them to do a Gambit movie or something. Like in the MCU, I think that'd I be thought they so would have weird. brought him into like you know first class and that thing because he's the one character apart from that has not been mm -hmm. brought into anything. No, I think he did have a film in the works at one point, but then it, the Fox is just such a mess with their movies. I think it just got lost, and of course, then Disney bought it, so that's yeah, just never, never going to happen now. But uh, hopefully, we'll get him in the MCU. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Well, there's a few comments here. Um, Actually, quite a few already. Um, <laughs> so we'll plow through some of these. We got CEX or HMV. For me, CEX because they do cheaper prices. I mean, HMV. I mean, yes, yeah. if you want something brand new and you really want something, I'd see HMV. If you want to get something just to watch it, like Crimson Peak or something, I'd go CEX. Yeah. Or I agree. If I want to mm -hmm. trade some of this stuff, not the poster, the, the stuff behind the poster in, mm -hmm. um, then I'd go to CEX and use that. Yeah, but yeah. I'd say brand new H and V used C X as well. I'd yeah, say. I mean, I never go out and buy loads to be honest. I because I, I see some people here on YouTube, especially when the shops open, who are going out and bringing home stacks of films. I I tend to go knowing what I want, and I'll just pick up. And I, I only have pick up like two items max normally. So H and V are just so much more reliable. There was a thing that I used to do. I used to go shopping on the, before kids shopping with the wife, mm -hmm. and she goes somewhere. I go to H and V. I'm like, right, I'm going to get X, Y, and Z. I'd come yeah. out and she'd go, you haven't bought anything? I'd be like, no, I can get it cheaper online. i come in, yeah. don't order it, and i just forget mm -hmm. about it. So I'll come home with nothing. I've done that before, to be fair. I think I've, I've picked up some 4Ks in HMV and gone, I know I'm getting these cheaper online. I just never get around to it. <laughs> exactly. It, it all depends on what the best deals are. That's what I do. As soon as I go to HMV, I'm like, I'll just scan this and look online. Can I get it cheaper? Yeah, I do that. I'm in HMV. I'm like, Amazon, how much cheaper can I get it? <laughs> exactly. I mean, some of the stuff, I mean, what, like, what did I get recently? I can't remember. But there was something that I was, I went, what was it? Come on, I think I'm under pressure now. But there, but there was something that I bought and I thought, yeah. no, that was it. It was the ring. Oh, the ring yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because was it on Zavi or something like that really cheap was, recently? Was, I completely, I didn't even know it was mm. on, the, on the cheap. I'd mm -hmm. gone hunting when rob came up here and we went out and it was 20 quid in yeah. cex and then jordan king mm -hmm. on the facebook page said that he had a, he ordered two of each or what get two of each that and mm -hmm. hellraiser and i just went if you get rid of it i'll take it off you and he was like yeah what are you gonna do a couple yeah. of postage so i got it for 12 quid brand new. oh wow bargain jeez yeah that's well good deal because i've looked at getting that ring set a couple times myself i mean i've got them digitally <laughs> but mm. i just want to have that in a nice yeah set. it's another one that i had like this guy here that mm -hmm. I sold to get some money to pay for other stuff. Yeah. Well, hey, it all works out nice because that, that ring set as well, that's an arrow release, isn't it? If I'm correct. It is, yeah. But I think the majority yeah. of special feature will be on the first one mm -hmm. and the other two, like two and zero. And yeah. I think the, uh, the ring spiral, which is like a sequel before a sequel, mm -hmm. is on the first one as well. But yeah, there you go. Oh, well, that's the set I've, I will be picking up at some point, but I'm going to wait for it to go on the cheap again, I think. The one, the, 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 one, the one that's out now is the white one. Mm -hmm. When it first came out, it was a bit like Creepshow 2. It came out in like a purpley box with a booklet in it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And that yeah. is, mm -hmm. that's like the Scarlet Box of Hell. You've seen the, you've seen the red Scarlet Box of Hellraiser? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There was that, so it was that version. And I had that. Somebody sold that to me for 20 quid. And then I put oh, it on eBay and somebody bought it off me for 40. I'm like, cool. Don't want me money. Yeah. And I've got that you one know. for 11. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, I love it. I, I, I will be on the lookout for that set, definitely. Sort of do it. Um, but Ben Fulton is here as well, just commenting okay. on the countdown. Um, <laughs> I, think, yeah, I think you're a bit eager, Ben. Very excited. Hopefully, hopefully the stream lives up for you. <laughs> so, what time um, am I taking over when your internet cuts out? Oh, well, last time it was about half eight. So, <laughs> okay. So what? About 50 minutes in. Okay, yeah. yeah, it was the weirdest thing. I was sitting here in total darkness and I was like, oh my God, I know the stream's still going. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, Alex kept it going. Fair play. Yeah. He did all that. Had yeah, he for did. Doing that. No, he did, to be fair. Um, this Saturday, I'm going CX and HMV for the first time since the 22nd of December. 
to be fair, I'm making my first trip out this Saturday as well to some shops. I think, so. if, I mean, there's Jamie, I mean, it could be wrong, Jamie might be Scottish because I think in Scotland they've already opened up this week, aren't they? Oh, the last Ooh, week. I think they might have, you know, I think you're right. Yeah, I've really taken my time to get to the shops. The, the problem is I have to travel like, I know it's not too long, but like 25 minutes to get to the shops and I'll get home from work and I just can't be bothered. <laughs> no, I get you. The thing is as well, when Rob came here and we went out and I was yeah. like, oh, 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 you get so mm. excited and I'm in there yeah. and it's like, oh, there's nothing I want. I didn't no, get that's it. it. Yeah, I can imagine I'll be exactly the same, to be honest, because... There's not loads I particularly want at the minute because there hasn't been any many releases this year because of obvious obvious reasons. It's just um, a case of the excitement of going there. You feel sometimes the need to buy something because yeah, you're yeah. out there. So that's why it's, I came home with the Dumbo 4K live action. I yeah. wasn't going to get it, but in six quid for a 4K, you kind of go wrong no. with that. Well, no, that's it. To be fair, I remember you saying that like, Rob had to persuade you, I think, to get that one. Yeah, didn't I wasn't going to get it, and he, and he was going, it's six quid for a 4K. I'm like, yeah. no, I don't need it. He goes... <laughs> Right, okay. it, to be fair, yeah. I think I would have done the same. Six pound for I, I'm not a huge fan of that movie, but I think I've never I seen it, it. But I want, but I'm collecting all the live action 4Ks. Mm, it's... I'm just waiting on Beauty and the. I just need Beauty and the Beast now, and I've got them all. Yeah, I, 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 I've got the Jungle Book, and even though I didn't like the Lion King much, I think I wouldn't mind getting that because I can imagine that's going to look stunning. And I, I kind of liked Aladdin, so I think I wouldn't mind so, picking that one. I've only seen. Which is it? Well, there's Mulan, which I haven't seen yet. Dumbo, I haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. Jungle Book, which is a lovely subscriber. Mm -hmm. I halfway through watching Lion King, I was sad enough with people, two of my friends my age, mm -hmm. to go at the first screening oh. in the evening, not at midnight, to go and see it. <laughs> yeah. Um, on the screen, it was just like you sit there, and we're like, you know, like all late thirties, mm -hmm. early forties, and you're yeah. like, ah, Savannah. Yeah. And I, I, I like, I get goosebumps, and I'm thinking, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking idiot! What are you yeah. doing? Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm I'm exactly the same, mate. To be fair, I remember seeing, even though I say I wasn't impressed with the movie much, but at the start, I was like, "Oh wow, this is like proper taking me back to my childhood." The only thing that disappointed me about the movie mm -hmm. was the bit, and this is going to sound really old school here, is when mm -hmm. uh, Timor or oh, Pumba said farted. Oh, in the song, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. obviously there is the one he goes, it kind of, oop, and he goes, "Yeah, the kids and all that." Um, that's, but it, when that came out, I was just like, in my head, it, it's going, is he going to say it? Is he going to say it? Is he going to yeah. say it? And he said it. I was yeah. just like, you've ruined my childhood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know. That movie for me, I, don't, I, I can admire it in a way. It was visually stunning. Oh, the, the, I the unbelievable 4K on that. That's what I mean. That's why I wouldn't mind getting it in 4K. But um, I just, the problem with me in that film is I'd always rather watch the original. That's I have a spare copy of it if you want it. Oh, wow. Well, now the only, still... where is it? I have put it down somewhere. The only problem is with it mm. is, oh, oh, I've also moved it somewhere, is that basically what happened was I got mm -hmm. it imported. So it's the American one. So if you're not bothered about it being the same slips, then you can have it. Mm -hmm. If you want it the same as to match all up, then you don't yeah. have to. Yeah. Oh, to be fair, I'm not too fussed, to be fair. I mean, Hi, it's up to you now, of course. <laughs> well, if you want it, I mean, it's otherwise it's not because Rob did the cotton dish to give it away, and I wanted to get them more matching. Yeah. So it's if I find it is lying around, yeah. lying around somewhere. That was no, <laughs> that was not, that was not a pun intended. But yes, if I find it, I'll uh, yeah, I'll message you afterwards, get your address, and I'll send it. You can okay. have it. Okay. Well, well, thank you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Look, thirty minutes in, I'm already giving stuff away. Jesus. Yeah, we're thirty minutes in. I think. I've done two proper questions as well. Yeah, come on, quick fire, quick fire, quick fire. Right. Arthur, hello, my Yoda. very good friend Luke is here. Hello, two down. Um, Yoda, four. Not sure what that means, but hello. <laughs> Tin and Sonic. Um, hi both. It's my B day today. Well, happy birthday. Um, good, I received... good evening. Good evening. Happy birthday. Evening. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I'm like that as well. I, 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 I get. I'm like, oh, is it, is it evening yet? <laughs> I know. So um, tired these days. I received the X Men Ten film collection. Has to be the laziest release going. They did Dark Phoenix and New Mutants in Amro cases. I've seen this. Have you seen the design of the new set? No, I haven't. I think that uh, it's Wait. identical to this. Right. I got this to save space because I'm not a huge fan of these movies, and I had them all individually. They're taking up so much room, so I thought I'll get this. 
so they take up less room. And what they've done is it's the same design. I've just put 10 film collection instead of eight. And they've basically just chucked the two Amory cases in for Dark Phoenix and New Mutants. So it's just a thicker box. That is pretty sleazy. You could at least have redesigned the cover and put like some kind of flames on to represent. Yeah. They, the thing is, they could have done some really awesome artwork with all those characters. And like, I, th I think this is so boring. Like, yeah. To be fair, though, why would you want Dark Phoenix and New Mutants, to be fair? Yeah, it's a, that's a fair point. I got rid of uh, Dark Phoenix. I did have that one. That one's gone. New Mutants, I didn't hate New Mutants, but I've just got no energy to buy it. New Mutants is the only one I've got. Mm. I've got all the others in 4K now, mm -hmm. um, purely because yeah. I want to collect them all. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, New Mutants, because it's not technically X-Men, it's... no. It's kind it's of like a carry on. Shoot. It's like yeah. a Logan thing, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, Dark Phoenix wasn't the best. I had to get it in 4K yeah. to complete it. I think the only thing I haven't got to complete the collection is that thing behind you. Thing behind me. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah, that that, that that one. That one. There, yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Oh uh, no, I shouldn't talk about it. I How did that get it. there, James? How did that get there? <laughs> I don't know. There's, there's no one brought it up before we started the stream. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, evening, guys. Scott, I missed the old intro. Oh, fair enough. I'm was quite that, happy. Was it the old intro was you with the tash. Yeah, with the the, the tash. Yeah, it had the that really annoying theme. It was like do little do 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 little do. Because that was your free one off uh, iTunes. Um, iMovie, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> I made that during lockdown. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> well, yeah, you, it's you got to do so. The same with my with my opening one. Mm. Until I just had. I think it was just going. Oh, it, my it's, my um, opening has evolved over so many things. I want to get it perfect. Yeah. It's not perfect yet, but I, I, no. you're even in my little intro. I know. I've noticed. Yeah, I quite like that. I like looking uh, and seeing my face pop up in your videos. It sounds that's so me. Weird. That's me. Come on, Bob, I'm, <laughs> I'm cameoing in every video. <laughs> you're famous but now. I I love. I don't know if you've seen it. Like on my old channel, I had like such a good intro, which um, I I had a friend i don't speak to him anymore who lived in france and he's like a proper um, video editor and he made me like a special intro and it was awesome but obviously i couldn't carry it onto this channel <laughs> you're not going and change the name oh uh, i don't know it look, i i find that it'd be like a big black box in the middle and it just said movie punk. <laughs> well, your new one's all right you can't complain with a new one no i'm, I'm very happy with it actually yeah um, have you seen the director's cut of daredevil um i haven't would that be the ben affleck one I'm guessing so, yeah. I I've seen... enough, I actually had that. No hood of I'll keep looking down there mm. because I figured out the other day that my 4K player downstairs can play mm -hmm. multi region DVD but not Blu rays. I was like, Oh, I've got some oh. Americans in the in the in the mm. uh, garage and Daredevil yeah. was one of them. And it wasn't until two days ago down here and I could have checked, but it's in the loft now. Uh. So I've only seen the American I, mm -hmm. I don't even think I watched it on Blu-ray. I think I watched, last time I watched Daredevil was on DVD. I think I watched it. <sighs> Daredevil. Daredevil and Electra, those two, and the first two Fantastic Four films. I think I just watched them like when they were playing on Sky when I was younger. I've like, never so. seen Electra. It got that bad oh. reviews. A bit like Catwoman. I've never watched Catwoman. Yeah. I just, oh, that's bad as well. Yeah. <laughs> just haven't watched it. But Daredevil, whenever anybody mentions Daredevil, all I think of is Colin Farrell with his little bullseye here and all and all it is him going oh you never miss and that's yeah. it that's all i remember about <laughs> that was a good impression actually i gotta say i yeah i do, i barely remember daredevil and electra um i remember the fantastic four films because when i was younger when i was watching them i must have been about eight or something so i kind of enjoyed them but um even when I was eight, I didn't like Electra or Daredevil. <laughs> no. Like I said, I, I didn't mind. that of, of those ones we've discussed, Daredevil was probably yeah. my favourite, but I haven't seen mm -hmm. it in a very, very long no. time. It's it's definitely better than Elect Electra's just, God, I don't know what they were doing with that movie. That I was... think it was Electra, it was almost like Daredevil did quite well. Mm -hmm. Can we get something out of Daredevil or we'll yeah. take a spin-off? And I just don't think it worked. No, I think that's because I, 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 Jennifer Gardner didn't even want to do it. I don't think she was just contracted to do it. Right. Yeah. So, but, but I've never seen it. That'll be no. on the list. Never seen. Never want to. No, I. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend. Okay. <laughs> um. Hey, how are you guys doing? We're doing very good, thank you. I'm just promoting Star Wars: okay. The Rise of Skywalker. Thanks. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Deb don't worry, guys. I'm debating whether just to just to get rid of it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't worry, we got some birds of prey here as well. <laughs> Best DC film. <laughs> I, I, I think we both know you're lying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, that hurt a bit, I must say, saying it out loud. <laughs> yeah. You've just lost two subscribers now. Probably. <laughs> uh, hello, Archie. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? I uh, hope you're doing well, sorry. Yep, we're all good here. Uh, Archie, Gina, as you're watching it, I hope you're making your way through my iTunes collection that I gave you. Yeah. I told you I wanted a review of every film I've got on there by the next week. That's your coursework. Carry on. I, I still need to get back to you on that. I still remember that iTunes. I, I, I thought of it uh, yesterday I was when I was thinking, when I was setting this stream up. I was like, oh, I never got back to you on the iTunes stuff. I just kept, my, my memory is so bad. So, well, whenever <laughs> you want it, you know where I am. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Um, hey, James. Hey, Paul. What? Ah, uh, he's here. The bounty is here. Two top guys. Have a great stream. Thank you very thank much, you, my Rob. friend. Rob yeah. too will be popping in. So yeah. nice to see you here, Rob. Thank you for being here. Um, hope you're enjoying your even your, your new Godzilla box set. I am. I really am. I I don't know if you saw that. I got. I've still I got. Did. It's here on the floor because I've got nowhere else to put it at the minute. I mean. This beautiful set here. Does it not fit in with your vinyls? Too tall. Oh. It's taller. It's a joke. What I'm planning on doing is tomorrow when I get home from work doing some DIY, pulling, I've got like, um, if I tilt this here, see like I've got a little shelf here. Yeah. Plan on bringing this out a bit. Right. And then I've got like a, um, it's actually just arrived with my Darjeeling Limited Blu-ray in a box. It's like a little stand that you, you know, like you put a book on on display. Yeah, I think people just... do that when they do videos. They show, like, yeah, oh, I, I think video. Lucas has got his like that on top of like a set yes. of drawers. He's got either side, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to put it here on the shelf. That's the plan anyway. It's going to block some Blu-rays, but I, it, I don't really want to put it up high because I don't want to block any of my posters. So. I know. That's, that's why I've kind of moved to the side. I didn't want to block yeah. any posters. No, no, God. Can't be blocking the, that The Godzilla poster. one, I... I mean, from my point of view, I mm -hmm. don't think I'm even remotely interested. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not Jason Brett. Let's be honest yeah. there. Right? I'm just putting that straight out there. <laughs> I, it's funny. I was desperate to tell him that I got the set. I think I commented on one of his Facebook posts today. I was like, oh, I got it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think I'm that bothered about it. I think Japanese, mm. I can, I get, totally get why he's got a massive following. Yeah. And, and how you're into it, Jason's mm -hmm. into it. But I just, I don't. I think because for me looking at it, I know it's got a kind of history to it, Japanese, yeah. everything mm -hmm. like that, with filmmaking fifties and sixties mm -hmm. and the chemical, um, and the nuclear holocaust and everything, yeah. not nuclear, all that kind of going on at mm -hmm. that time of year. Mm -hmm. But I think to me, I still look at it as a man dressed up in a suit with bad acting. Oh yeah, that's exactly. What, honestly, because I started this is uh, earlier today, but then I, um, you know, had some stuff on this evening. I went out on a bike ride after after dinner with my parents and stuff, but. So I only got about halfway through it, but like I was watching the King Kong versus Godzilla one. I, I'm I'm already three films into it. The Godzilla thing ain't too bad because it's just you can tell it's just the man in a suit sort of waddling. But the guy dressed as the monkey because he's moving a bit quicker. It looks so much more ridiculous. Um, but I don't know because I bought these as well about two months ago when they come out. I bought the Gamera sets from Arrow. So you knew what you were expecting. Yeah, and I really enjoyed watching these, and I sort of missed it. So. And I love Godzilla, so I was like, ah, oh, I think I should get that Zilla set. Because I thought I that think... set, Godzilla set you got, I thought, did that not go out of print? Um, I, I think it might have in America now, and I'm guessing it won't be long till it does in the UK, because it can't be in print for too long, because that the production on this must be quite heavy. Oh, so well, like, It must be the largest hour release. Yeah, I would have thought so. So I, I Criterion I... release, sorry, not that real. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, I... Yeah, because this must take a lot of effort to make, to manufacture, and it must be expensive. So I, I can't imagine this being in print for too long. It is very much. Did they not release them as um, normal ones then? You know, just. I honestly think I would have got them if they were in Amore cases um, over that, because even though it's a beautiful set and I do love it, the size is such an issue. <laughs> because Jason and John from Mondo Televet Movies have also got yeah. that. Yeah. But they've they... got made little. Mm. I saw Jason got really lucky, didn't he? Because I think he found someone on eBay who was selling, selling it with it. Yeah. yeah. I was like, damn, that's so good. I, I, I wish that they'd done that option with Criterion because I would have got the Amory cases because, as I said, the size issue. 
you would have thought for the size of it that Criterion might go, right, this is it, it's all in here, but here are some spare cases in case you yeah. need to put them in shelving and everything. But Absolutely. maybe they just wanted to be used as a display piece, and that's why it's left as it is. Maybe, because... I was saying this to someone, it was either on a Facebook page or on um, my channel, someone commented that they liked it, but this, they messed up with the size. And I thought, well, I, I can agree because I'm having that issue. But I think most people who are buying it are the huge Godzilla fans who are probably just yes. happy to have it on display. Oh, exactly. If you said to me, right, you can have, if you've got £150 to burn, Paul, here's yeah. a limited edition Ghostbusters of Gladiator, yeah. whatever, the massive. Exactly. Can, I'll be like, yeah. what? how much? Yeah, yep, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, so, yeah. exactly. <laughs> if if I had a Star Wars set that size as well, yeah, it could go anywhere. I don't care. <laughs> it's the same with like like Alex's Infinity War box, isn't it? That's massive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But because you want it to just be a completionist and have that, you know, yeah. all those phases all together, then it's mm -hmm. a must. I mean, I'm personally exactly. happy just to have all my Amory cases. But yeah. if that had come out and I'd had the money, I would probably got not got those at the time, just got them all, but I got them all individually as well. Yeah, no, I agree. If uh, if I didn't own any of them, I would just put a load of money aside and get the Infinity set as well. Yeah. Um, we've also got Mr. Josh here, Film Flick. Hello. Hello, Josh. Good evening. Don't you jinx your internet again, James. To be fair, I, I when my internet went out last week, I just sort of sat back and went, well, it's a power cut. It's out of my control. No, exactly. It's not like you can redo your booster or your... No. Oh, your um, internet, but that's all right. It's all right, people, yeah. because as you know, I've got my own live stream, so I know what I'm doing. Yeah. So, I, <laughs> but like when Alex did, he knows what he's doing. I'm sure I could take yeah. over, plug my channel loads of times. It'll be great. To, to be fair, your live streams are so perfect. Like, I don't know how you do it. Like, because there's you get like four or five guests on at a time, and it's like I always struggle to get because I've done a couple group ones now, and I always struggle to get a word in. It's like you, you, your streams are actually so good considering how many people you've got there. I think the way we do it is because although it's me, Rob and Pete, or me mm -hmm. and Pete, or me and Rob, or whatever it was, yeah, because it's on my stream, I'm very much, I take control, mm -hmm. so I'm like, yeah. right, stop, we're going to move on, or whatever. Yeah. Um, Like last night, when I had the quiz on, etc., um, mm -hmm. I made sure that, right, James did the question, and I just went, has everybody got an answer? Right, we'll go through it, what's your answer? Yeah. And then you, you kind of marshal it. But yeah, you're no, right, that's... some people will talk on top of each other, but you've just yeah. got to kind of realised, because you kind of look at all the mm -hmm. screens, but yeah, I mean, it, it works. Uh, yeah. Next week, we don't have anybody next week. We kind of said last night that what we're going to try and do is have more um, viewer participation, so if mm -hmm. somebody comes on, we could send them the link to the StreamYard, like you sent oh, me, and I right. sent everybody, yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. then they can come on for 20 minutes, go live, yeah. and then mm -hmm. they can go, and then we'll get other people on. Or it might just be me, Rob and Pete, next week. I haven't got any guests. I'm trying to, I keep trying to get Movie Worm on, but every yeah. time there's a week, I need to get them on. <laughs> Everton are playing, so I can't get them on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, when we're on is when Line of Duty's on, and he does it for his reaction afterwards. Yeah, well. it, it, to be fair, those Line of Duty um, reactions he does seem to bring loads of views for him. He does fair really play, well. Yeah. Yeah. To him doing that was a cracking idea because mm. not only does it get his channel out there, it also yeah. gets the views, which is awesome. So yeah, so you and I just have to come up with something like that. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. I keep trying. I tell you, I've, I've my my new kind of thing i've been trying to do on my channel is just doing silly intros and stuff to get people a bit more entertained <laughs> well you see mine jesus yeah. to to be the, the one night time and i'm like yeah i need an need intro yeah <laughs> I need an intro. <laughs> the one that you done with rob i found particularly funny where he sort of sat in your seat and done the intro oh yeah and then i did, I did the outtake as another one yeah yeah like, i saw that it's a music magpie i'm like it's not music magpie man yeah <laughs> Because because he was obviously sitting here and I, and, he, mm -hmm. and I was sitting there mm -hmm. and I just went right go and he's going mm -hmm. but he can't do that I'll read because yeah, obviously yeah. he's southern mm -hmm. like yourself I'm like mm -hmm. he's going all right I'm like no it's not all right it's I'll read he's like he'll read I'm like no so I think it was about <laughs> ten minutes I'm trying to get him never mind the rest of it just to go yeah. I'll read so yeah. yes. That's a whole video right there, just loads of outtakes if you try to get him to say that. <laughs> uh, he, got it, he got it right eventually in the end. Yeah. I the um, I, I was I was a bit disappointed with that Benny Loves You beginning bit with me, um, the one with um, this guy over here. Oh, oh, see, I found that quite good. I thought that was good. <laughs> yeah, I think what Lisa Loves commented and went, get that man away from them Barbies. <laughs> so, but yeah, but this guy as well, this is, you, you recognize him. He's from this is from where the wild things um, are. Yes, I 
I, I think I literally just put that film away the other day because I, I absolutely loved that movie. So when I was younger, I loved the mm -hmm. book. So this is oh, actually yeah. from... I was going to say, that's not the one from the film. That's got to be... This is, this is from 1980. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. So this is 41 years old. <laughs> this is that's older crazy. than you, James. I'd say that's mental. That's crazy. Because yeah. I've... I've still got it in my room, actually. He's on my bed at the minute. I've still got the teddy I was given on the day I was born. So, obviously, he's older than me. And I look at that thing and it's like, God, that's that's crazy. <laughs> actually, another thing I've never commented is that you and I have one thing in common that we both love. Hmm. And it's not women. Oh, okay. It's, it's, the, Be <laughs> it's the Beatles and John Lennon. I remember you saying that you like the Beatles. Because I remember you saying in a previous live stream that you used to play a lot of their stuff on guitar, was it? Yes. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. I, I tell you, I love, absolutely love the Beatles. It was my dad. It was when night. We're going off on a tangent here. Yeah. Apologies yeah. for all the questions. We will get them. <laughs> I mean, there's like 80 questions. There. Is that when I was at college, um, yeah. Oasis? And oh, then, yeah. Mm -hmm. And on the B side, the cigarettes and alcohol that had um, them performing I Am the Walrus I'm Live. The Walrus, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then my dad went, You don't want to listen to that. And then he came in with the cassette of mm -hmm. the Blue album. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. I listened to that. And then after that, I just started listening to it. And then he, then he let me in his white album. Mm -hmm. and then after that i just got into the beatles yeah I, mean, I personally prefer the red album to the blue album oh, okay mm -hmm. um i love the please please me album with like uh mr postman yeah i love their cover of um uh money that's what i want love that oh yeah that's good twist, mm -hmm. twist and shout all that early mm -hmm. stuff uh, yeah they're all obviously classics as you go a lot but yes mm -hmm. going off that but yes i love the beatles i only love the beatles yeah. because of oasis and my dad yeah, I'd see, I, I'd, definitely my dad as well, same thing, like he got me into it. Um, I, I liked Madness first, and right. then I remember him just putting on my, I had like an iPod when I was at school. He was like, well, if you like Madness, and he put like um, Beatles, Queen, Stones, Kinks, all that stuff on. And I, I, I love all those other bands, like I've got all their albums. I think, I'm, I'm sure you've seen my wall of records in other videos yeah, and stuff. Yes, you've got many um, vinyls. There are loads in here because most people just see this side of my room now. But the other side of my room is complete music. Um, but yeah, I just hit it off with the Beatles. Like I love them. I've been seeing McCartney live, um, and yeah, just fantastic. See, that's man. the difference is with you. Depending on where you saw them, mm. somebody like that would do more London Olympia that kind of shows. Yeah, they wouldn't really come north. So I, I mean, the the, the only person of that kind of caliber mm -hmm. I've seen live is Bob Dylan. Um, oh, I'd love to see. I'd love to see Dylan as well. In that was at the Newcastle Arena. I mm -hmm. took an ex-girlfriend to see it, and mm -hmm. I don't think she knew what she was expecting. <laughs> she was like, "Are we going yet?" Yeah. I'm like, "We've only been here half an hour." He's it, doing a three-hour show. It's funny. I've got like because I've got like a playlist on my phone with like it's got about three hundred songs on, and there's like three or four Dylan songs on there. When I have people round, and Dylan comes on. Subterranean think, homesick blues. Yeah. They're so good, but I don't think people like his voice much, some people. Yeah, he's, all, he's, he's very much, because when I was at uni, it used to be like, it used to go like, he's down, and what was it? Um, oh, I'm trying to think of it. How many times must a young man Yeah. Just goes like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I like that um, Desire era of Dylan, where he's doing like Hurricane and stuff like that. Oh, Hurricane's a quality song. Yeah. Especially because it's obviously based, because he was backing the guy and he did a song mm. to bring attention to uh, the yeah. boxer and everything. But, yeah. but no, that's great. Yeah, anyway, we've got off a tangent. We'll go, yeah. we'll go back. Okay. Um, well, hey, you'll like this one. <laughs> Rise of Scar will get. <laughs> Let's be honest. It isn't the best Star Wars film, but it's much better than The Last Jedi. Hmm. <laughs> I would just politely disagree. <laughs> but I don't really like either of them much. For me, I'm a pre. I, the originals are the best. We'll all we'll all agree on that. But I'm I'm a prequel boy. I love. I think the, the best thing about Last Jedi is because it got had Gareth Edwards in it. Gareth Edwards, yeah, he was um he was the next to the guy who tasted the salt, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah he looked at him going, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah, taste the salt. Yeah, no, I hey the, the I think that you know the thing with the sequels is because I've got in many debates with people about them over the years now. I, I, I've sort of got bored of arguing about them. I just say, well, they're a mess. <laughs> That's I've, it. I'll be perfectly honest, you know, like with regards to all the Star Wars films. Yeah. I love I love Star Wars. I mean, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have that on my arm if I didn't like Star Wars. No, really. yeah. <laughs> but I think I like, I'm not a big fan of Return of the Jedi. I mm -hmm. very much like the first, um, fir well, it is the first one. And then yeah. Empire. And then yeah. Rogue. Mm -hmm. And then 
the excitement for the other ones. But I mean, I love one to nine. I love Rogue One. Yeah. Not the biggest fan of Solo, but it's fine. I'll watch it. I own all yeah. of them. I won't have anybody so, so take the say Star Wars is shit because it's not. It is no, a franchise. No. It's awesome. Yeah. But I think it's not a fact of I dislike Last Jedi. It's just the one I like the, the least. I think yeah. it is, mm. is, is, is the way to look at it. Really. Yeah. That's fair. Hey, uh, Star Wars is, I feel, you know, most people know this about me. It's like my favorite thing ever. So I just, you know, it's a fantastic series of films series now books comics it's fantastic and games it's, it's conquered everything <laughs> yeah. and, there's, and then there's george lucas with when uh, was it alec guinness when he got interviewed he was like i've no idea what i'm getting into yeah and it, it launched harrison ford can yeah. it launch mark hamill carrie fisher and all mm. that and it's interesting because people just do it like they'll just happily be a part of it it's like liam neeson I, he didn't even read the script for phantom minutes apparently before he took the part well, no, someone said to you, do you want to be in a Star Wars movie? You'd be like, yeah. um, do you want to ring your agent? No, I'll say, yeah. where do I sign? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's probably a good thing you didn't read the script, because even though I like that film, the script isn't great, so it might have turned him off of it. Yeah, the only thing I didn't like <laughs> about the prequels was was too much politics in it. Yeah. That's the only thing I didn't like. Yeah. And, and I thought the pod race was too long. Other than that, yeah. That that's that's the only diss. And I don't, I don't no, mind I Attack of the Clones, because I really like the can- character of Django Fett. Yeah. Because it gives an mm-hmm. origins of Boba. And, mm-hmm. and that's what I quite like. And I, yeah, and I like the, the fight in the rain with all the... Mm, that's cool. The last half hour of Attack of the Clones is brilliant, I think. I love it. Because I love seeing Christopher Lee in Star Wars. I mean, that's just amazing to he, me. He, he's lucky, though, isn't he? he? I mean, it's a yeah. bit like um, uh, Ian McKellen, isn't it? Because, like, mm. those two have, have been... They're at old age, but they've, they've gone from, yeah. like... You know, with Christopher Lee, he's gone from, like, the Wicker Man mm-hmm. to, like, the Hammer Horror, Lord yeah. of the Rings, and yeah. then... Obviously, Star Wars. So he's more or less been in all these franchises throughout the decades. He's. Uh, I. I honestly think Chris Lee is one of my favourite actors that has uh, been in the industry. I think he's fantastic. He's awesome. It, yeah. Um. Off to HMV in Colchester tomorrow. Any titles you'd recommend picking up? Um. Well, if you've got HMV, hang on, and they still have it, then you should purely down one because it's a price. Mm. I haven't watched it yet. Is to get that. Oh, well, I don't actually know what that is. So this is a Stephen King mm-hmm. fire start with a young Drew Barrymore. Oh, so you know okay. how Carrie's about mm-hmm. how Kinesis, this is about what she... This isn't, this yeah. isn't, this isn't Keith Flynn's autobiography. Just no, so no, know. no, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is marked up at fourteen ninety nine. But if you've got the term, oh, okay. it is five ninety nine. Oh, wow. And it oh, comes with a book, nice. a poster, art cards, everything. Oh, nice. I mean, I haven't seen it, but for five ninety nine, mm-hmm. it's brand new. Absolutely. Yeah. Cracking deal. Well, I don't know if HMV still have it, because I think it was limited, but it is a HMV exclusive. But if you can still get this set, I'd probably recommend this as well. I this was going to get that, set. but then I think the only one of those sets I've got is the Tenet one, the Eastern Edition. Yeah, I I have the Goodfellas one here. I bought this because I'd never seen Goodfellas, so once they when they announced that, I was like, right, I'm going to get that. I got the um, Titans of Court one of that. Oh really? Oh, that looked that looked really nice. That set actually. I was debating which version to get because in it you get the tie clip, but you also <laughs> get the recipe for Mama Scorsese's meatballs in there. Oh, okay. and obviously it comes yeah. with the steel mm-hmm. book as well. See the book in that one, mm-hmm. I've got in the Blu-ray edition. Oh, right, so, I see. So it's like but, a copy and paste type thing. Yeah. Whereas yeah. with that, with the Titans of Cult one, I think because the Blade Runner Final Cut version of that's going for like mm-hmm. silly money now. Yeah. So yeah, so I've got that one. Oh, I've never well, watched I, it on 4K yet, like. Yeah, no, I, I can imagine that would be quite good. I, I also picked this one up when I got the Godzilla one, because I thought, oh, they're, they're really nice set. I picked up this as well. That's Blues an awesome Brothers movie. One. I love that movie. I Yeah, I grew up on this, so it's like I've kind of indented into my brain that movie. The amount of times I used to go clubbing and they used to put on Come On Shake Your Tail Feather towards yeah. the end of the night. Uh, I, 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 every time I'm having hosting, because uh, in the summer I will do garden parties for my mates. Um, and I'll have about 15 people around normally. I'll always chuck a couple Blues Brothers songs on the playlist. Everybody like Needs Somebody to Love is one of my all-time yeah. favourite tunes. And, and, and the, the wife and I went to a 80s-themed mm-hmm. birthday party, Yeah, and I went as the Blues Brothers. Oh. <laughs> well, not, not a, a Blues Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Two of them. See, I really like their cover, because it's not in the movie. It's on their album briefcase full of blues or something like that. Um, Their cover of Soul Man. I really like that. Well, that's a quality song. Yeah, really that good. Is. There you go. There are your recommendations mm. there. Yeah. 
Um, Mr. Jake Blower is here. Hello, my friend. Jake. Um, have you seen the view from um, the I terrace? So. I'm guessing. Is, it, uh, is this a movie? View from the terrace. I think it is a movie. Mm. But I only just heard of it, so I haven't seen it, though. No. I no, I I, I have I haven't even heard of it. So, <laughs> so um, I bought the complete saga box set on Blu-ray since I've n never had episodes one through six on Blu-ray. I'm guessing Star Wars. Yeah, well, it would be Yoda, Yoda the Jedi. I'm guessing. Yeah, kind of gives that away. <laughs> I mean, I I I think when I started getting into Blu-rays, which must have been about like 2012, I think. Because I, I I've still got it in my cupboard. I've got the complete saga, one to six with like it's that one where it's Anakin walking away and you can yeah. see Vader's shadow. It's over in my little store. Oh, is that the one you? Over there. Yeah, I bought that as soon as I started collecting Blu-rays. Like Star Wars was like must have. <laughs> it's the first thing you do. It's like when when I got 4K the first time, I have to have Ghostbusters and Gladiator. Yeah, it's like it's like when I did that um video of which 4Ks do I recommend? Mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of say the movies that I love. I will get yeah. the highest possible picture quality of them, even mm -hmm. if they're shit, but I love yeah. them, I'll get them. And then after yeah. that, I'll look for reviews of what the picture quality is like, and if it's not the best, then I'll just keep to it on Blu-ray. Yeah, no, that's that's smart, I think, because I, I, I sort of do the same. I mean, I don't know, sometimes if I get a franchise, I will, if I'm getting them all in 4K, for example, or even the ones I don't like, I will get, just so they're all matching. Like, like with Star Wars, I did buy The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker in 4K, even though I'm not huge on them. But you've got to have well, them all match. The Last Jedi was the first Star Wars one I bought actually on 4K, even though I'm going back oh, and really? like it. Because it was the only one at the time that was out in 4K. Yeah, it was the first one, wasn't it? Because they didn't do Rogue One in 4K. I didn't. No, because I had returned, I had The Last Jedi in a Steelbook 3D. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I, I took the 3D out of it mm -hmm. and then I sold the, the just the Steelbook on eBay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kept the blue, the three D, and then I, and then I got an extra one of those little things, and I put the three D oh, in yeah, the Amory yeah, yeah. case. So mm -hmm. my last Jedi has got Blu Ray, three D, and four K all within the one set. Oh, nice! I yeah. did the same thing for Life of Pi. Yeah, that's that's smart to be fair. Because I wish that they'd done that. Because I was like, obviously, like watching Big Paulie, he'll occasionally shows in his HMV and stuff. A couple, I think it was Alita, Battle Angel, Alita. that done like four K, three D and stuff. Why don't they all do that? <laughs> my my uh, French Wonder Woman is 4K, 3D, oh, really? and normal Blu-ray. Yeah. That's the reason oh. I got that one, because I had them all in. It's so annoying, because I've got 4K TV in my room, and I've got my 3D TV downstairs. So I do use both. I don't use 3D near as much as I used to, but I will occasionally still use it. So it'd be nice to have that option still. Yeah, you're right. I mean, with regard what I did with the Marvel one, because I've got each Marvel one on... You probably already know this. So apologies yeah. for everybody watching this already knows this. I've got them on... <laughs> 4K, 3D, and Blu-ray. But as we all mm -hmm. know, if you buy the 3D and then if you buy the 4K, you get two Blu-ray discs. Yeah. So, so I just took all the Blu-ray discs out and just mm -hmm. sold them as one package, like all of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and just basically said, um, "Who want put them on eBay?" And I got like thirty quid for them. So because I thought the point is having two discs of the same thing because yeah. I'm never going to sell all them. Other no. stuff I might take CX, but these guys I won't. No. So it's pointless doubling them up. Yeah, no, that's 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 the best thing for them. Then I think they're definitely. But um, I, I think before we carry on the comments, just going to apologise to people. Oh, your poster's fallen, falling oh, down. That's a shame. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I shall take it down. Hang on, I'll take it. Down. <laughs> um, I'm going to say quickly to the people um, that I apologise. We're probably not going to get through all the comments because we are so far behind already. Um, so I do apologise about that. <laughs> There we go. I uh, took it down. You should I, was, be happy now. I was just saying that we're probably not going to get through the comments tonight because we're already Mild nearly forty-five behind. minutes behind. So I, I'm already apologising to people, but we could do some quick fire. <laughs> we could do some quick ones. Why is Skywalker more like <laughs> dies of Skywalker? <laughs> what are that, you on about, man? That, that was stretching, Josh. I think the sequels are over. I'm guessing overhated. I think it means overrated. Oh, may oh maybe overrated. Oh, overrated. Yeah, maybe. Um, a thousand generations living you now. Was it? Is that? Is that Last Jedi? Or Rise of Skywalker. Quite. It's I Rise can't of Skywalker. Honestly, I think my Star Wars knowledge is really good, but then when it gets to the sequels, I've just it's. Oh, I'll be honest. Barely anything. I've got all the movies. I've got the t-shirts. I've got the tattoos. Yeah. But if you said to me, "What is the 
planet of this, I believe. Yeah. No idea. <laughs> See, I think just because, like, uh, when I was really growing up with Star Wars, it was, like, between prequels and Clone Wars coming out, there was no content, so I'd have to play games like um, Night City, Old Republic and stuff, and playing it constantly, a lot of these things got drilled into my head. Yeah, and then, like, that, yeah. reading the novels and stuff as well. I think that's the only reason my Star Wars knowledge of, like, prequel era especially is pretty good. Because then when it gets to the sequels, I'm, I'm the same. Useless. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I used to watch the first one. I, I hate what Lucas did to the special edition of the first one when Hansel was walking over. Jabba, Jabba yeah. and... You should have just... Yeah. Like, that's why I bought the DVDs. Because mm-hmm. they've got that original... Well, I've got... You've got um, the specialised Blu-rays, have you? Yeah, I bought that. Which is really cool. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't hate all the things in the special editions. Like when they're on Best Bin in Empire, and they've added the windows, it makes it feel, uh, I don't know, it makes the, 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 the planet feel a bit more epic and a bit more grander, I suppose. But I completely agree with, like, the jab a bit. And then there's the bit in Mos Eisley's where that thing just walks in front of the camera like that, oh. and it's like, what is this? <laughs> oh, well, when they're going, they've been dry to your suit, and yeah. you've got the, the, the Wampa thing in the background yeah. or whatever. <laughs> Oh dear! So it's funny. almost like George Lucas has gone to editing suite and went, "Yeah, can I get any kind of creature in that particular yeah. area there?" And they've gone, "Yes, Mister Lucas." He's like, "Okay, we'll do that then." And that's what he's the done. Pro- the problem is, is that he didn't give people the option to go back to the original. I yeah. don't think people would have near the problem they do with them if they didn't, ha- if if they still had the option. Exactly. Yeah, you know what it's going to do, don't they? Because the popularity of the four Ks, they're going to release. The tree, They'll get, so everybody yeah. double doubles up again. Yeah. I can't buy. I'll I'll buy them. I'll buy. Them. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We will buy. Yeah. Them. <laughs> uh, good evening. I was wondering what your thoughts on the original RoboCop movie. It's one of my favourite films of all time. I, funny enough, only watched this for the first time last month. It's taken me this long to watch it, but I've done it now, and I I did really enjoy it. I did really enjoy it. RoboCop 1987. Is an or I remember I think I was 16, 17, and I had to not necessarily beg but really ask my parents to let me watch it. Yeah, um, so if I was 16, 17, you would have been zero or my I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I but don't I, know, really, yeah. I really I hate the third one, but I really enjoy it. I do <laughs> like the second one, the second one I really enjoy. I mean, I don't own them, I've only got the first one in that arrow box set. And I do have under my bed somewhere the 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 one with Sam Jackson, the new, which I really didn't like. That was all. It was, it's, I didn't dislike yeah. that too much. I I think I because I hadn't even obviously I hadn't seen the first one, so that was like my first RoboCop experience. I think that's probably why I disliked it a lot. Yeah, I mean RoboCop um, one is so good. It's ultra violence yeah. and mm-hmm. everything. I mean, I just it sounds awful. I love the scene when the guys. Covered in mm-hmm. chemicals, and he just goes and he has to use the windscreen wipe to get yeah. off. Yeah, that was Brilliant. so good. Yeah, yeah. but I, um, yeah, it, it is a bona fide classic. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely recommend you give the second a go. I think the second is more violent, um, because mm-hmm. it's got Kane in it when when the the kind of they want to create a super soldier, uh, yeah. So they take mm-hmm. the 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 brain because what you do is you kill him, but they take you can see him take his. Yeah, yeah, his yeah. eyeballs mm-hmm. and it's in a little yeah. container. But yes, I recommend that. <laughs> no, I will jump on those films eventually, definitely. Because I think there's Jim- a little pack don't... you can get, isn't there? Yes, there is. But don't be Jimmy Powell and don't no. like the third one. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, dear. That man cracks me up, to be fair. <laughs> Robocop 3 is the alien resurrection. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. All right, fair enough. Because <laughs> but the, don't worry, I'm not a fan of Alien Resurrection. I, had, I went to the cinema the day they released to see that. Oh, really? Can you, can you imagine my disappointment? To be fair, the only Alien film I've seen, and the only Predator film I've seen, was Alien Covenant, and I really didn't like that. And The Predator, the 2018 one, and I, I borderline hated that one. So, so far, my experience with Alien and Predators in the cinema has not, not been very good either. <laughs> no, no, no. But ho- hopefully next one. Well, yeah, I, I didn't mind Prometheus and Covenant. I like Prometheus a lot. That was really good. That movie, I thought. If you, if you, like I've said many times in live stream, if they take out the, uh, you do the blowing and I'll do the fingering. <laughs> if, if you take that line out of it, yeah. I don't mind it because I like the fact of him 
I mean, the only problem I've got other than that is the fact is at the end, you know it's not him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know. For me, because I've done a review of this on my channel, and for me, my problems with that movie were it kind of felt like a slap in the face to Prometheus, I think. So I really wanted to see that story continued. And I just, I didn't like any of the characters in it, really. I think that was my problems with the movie. But it's it's not, it's not, there are some redeeming qualities about it, though, I'll admit. Like, I think it's a really good looking movie. Really good oh, yeah, looking movie. Oh, yeah, all the deaths and everything coming out mm. of oh, So, yeah, that, that's that's what makes the Alien franchise fun, after all. Was... Um, Do you find redeeming qualities in the Daredevil movie? I think Michael Clark, Dukan, uh, was great in it. I, 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 I Duncan. Oh, he Duncan. Was, he was the um, kingpin. Oh, was he? I really can't remember. I can't remember anything about this movie, to be honest. Well, to be fair, that this this question was like, like three hours ago, but that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I think at the time it was good. Looking back, it's not so good. No, no. I, 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 I really can't remember anything about that movie. Apart from, I never miss. Yeah, <laughs> I won't forget that now. <laughs> um, my OCD actually hurts since you gave Inglorious Bastards a 10 out of 10 on your podcast. You gave it a four stars on there. I only gave it a four stars on Letterboxd. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure I would have given that a five star. Because I, I absolutely love that movie. It's only an ear to me. Oh, really? Oh, I think, I think that is um, Quentin Tarantino's masterpiece. I see Reservoir Dogs for me. Oh, I have given it a four, right? It's a five now. It's a five. <laughs> to be fair, I, I love Reservoir Dogs as well. The uh, I love Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Inglorious, um, Django. And I, I do really like The Hateful Eight. I know that's not a popular opinion, but I really like The Hateful Eight. I have to say that I don't dislike any Tarantino films. I think they're all good. Obviously, there are some I prefer to others. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really, really like Jackie Brown. I think it's really good. I think it's underrated. I think it's yeah. excellent. De Niro's great in it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's one of those, like, when, she, when she's in the car park, she's going, Lewis, Lewis. Yeah. And he goes, oh, fuck, and he just shoots her. That, that bit caught me off guard so much. Because I watched it for the first time only about four or five months ago. That bit took me by surprise. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, they hit the Philly. I've only seen once. Um, mm. Django, I need to revisit because I've only I've seen it twice or three times, but I think I saw it twice in one day because I watched yeah. it and my mate wanted to watch it, so we watched it again. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Rest of the World, I, I, I love Rest of the World. I think it's because it's the it's first so Tarantino I saw. I saw it yeah. a couple of years after it came out. Um, Pulp Fiction, again, came back. On, was from See, from my point of view, Pulp mm -hmm. Fiction came up back on came out on off of the hype of Reservoir Dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously after that, everyone. But no, I mean, Once Upon a Time is Hollywood is good, but I still don't think it's any of his best. I still think... I agree. Yeah. Reservoir Dogs is very much... He was on a budget and he got mm -hmm. an, the script for it. I mean, mm -hmm. for your first film to come out, was it 94, I think it was? Something like that. Early 90s, yeah. Yeah. And then... All that time ago, and everybody still remembers the ES scene and um, Steeler's Wheel mm, for your yeah. first film. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and to see where you are now off the back of that, which was on such a small budget. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. I, yeah, I think for me, the only Tarantino movie that I really wouldn't put myself through again is Death Proof. That's the only one. Everything else, really do enjoy. I need to watch that again because I've got that box set, which I got cheap for 20 quid. Yeah. I need to. I was a bit sneaky with the box set because all the discs worked except Jackie Brown. So what I did is I bought a Jackie Brown cheap off eBay, put that mm -hmm. disc in there and put the dodgy one oh, that didn't work in it and I went and sold the CX. So it's always good. <laughs> so, I love it. So if you look through, hang on, I'll show you. Uh, come here. So that's my box set anyway. It so is a really nice set, that, to be fair. And when you, when you look in it... Yeah. Oh, hang on. You'll see that they're all the same apart from yeah. Jackie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> which is different is that is that um an expensive set that one i got this is a thing um where did i get this from? i can't remember but i was on that hot uk deals that, mm -hmm. uh, and it came up um and i think i got it for like 20 quid because i thought oh, oh 19 18 yeah. 20 quid because i thought this is going to be a, a misprice yeah mm -hmm. so i just went for it and then it arrived 
I still got the, the thing on the back. You can see that. See where the sticky thing's gone through. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's got. I see, it's got. It's got all the. Well, I think it was to go inside with the glorious bastards coming out because that's the most recent one on there. Yeah, it's even got true romance in there as well. Um, I, I I might. I'm tempted to pick that up because it's got. Well, if it's got true romance in, then there's three films in there that I don't own because I don't own Jackie Brown and I don't own Death Proof. So. But yeah, I mean, four. I mean, I just don't. It's just a bit. Flimsy. It's a bit cheap. Yeah, because that's the thing. I've only got two collection sets of directors. I've got the Bong Joon Ho one and the Hitchcock one, and they're both of these beautiful hard boxes. Yeah. So. But yes, there you go. Um, <laughs> your favourite film is showing in Geordie Paul's background, James. Yeah, we saw it. We saw it. It's okay. I've got Geordie's favourite as well. There it is. Ba -ba <laughs> um. Um, thoughts on the Oscar winners from last night? I, I I don't know about you. I don't really have too much opinions on the Oscars last night. It wasn't a big deal for me. The like... only thing with the Oscars is that, funnily mm. enough, I messaged a guy on Instagram two days ago because I'm really mm. desperate to see The Father with Anthony mm. Hopkins and um, thingy of um, The Crown. I've forgotten the name. Olivia Oh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because and I read because I saw the trailer for it and it's never really come out for release. And 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 Gary's like, oh. I'm getting there in the month. You can, I'll get you yeah. on it. Great, awesome. And, and as soon as I've done that, two years later, he wins best actor. Yeah. Like, oh well, <laughs> Landon's done a good deal there. But like, yeah. Nomadland mm -hmm. is is one like three billboards where it mm -hmm. didn't interest me when it won the Oscar, but I'll mm -hmm. watch it later down the line and go, oh, I quite yeah. enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And and the same with Minari. The same with I mean Parasite. I didn't see that till what the beginning of this year. Well, I watched Parasite. Funny enough the day after it won. it won and then i was like well i've got to go watch this um i want to watch nomadland and minari but i just haven't been able to get around to it yet i mean last year the oscars was so exciting for me because i think i'd seen nearly everything but parasite because i watched that the day it won um so I, I i i was sort of really into it like predicting what should win whereas this year i just i've seen a handful of the ones that were going up for awards but it, it, it didn't compare to last year no, uh, I mean, for Parasite, I'm surprised I liked it. as I didn't think I'd like it mm -hmm. as much as I did. I thought it was going to be overhyped, like mm -hmm. The Lighthouse. But, yeah. you know, and it, um, yeah. but yeah, I waited to get it on, on 4K, and I waited till mm -hmm. the price dropped, and I got it. Um, and the picture quality for 4K, the bit towards mm -hmm. the end, when they're running out of the house and it's dark lit and they're going down the dark streets, yeah. so that is just with it. That's really good. Mm -hmm. But um, I, don't, I think Oscar's just... Has lost its appeal over the past decade, I think. Yeah, I, I think for me, because there's been years like I remember 2014, there were so many great films that come out for me, like Grand Budapest, Wh Whiplash. Um, I, I think it just depends on the year for me, on the films that come out. Because last year was so great for me, and then this year has been a bit like mm, I've, I've only seen half of them or so, so. And we all know Gladiator won loads of Oscars, just saying. <laughs> it's very, very much deserved them, though. Cracking oh, yeah. movie, exactly. Cracking film. I That's do. Um, before, you know, glad you mm. think quickly. Mm -hmm. um, before when that came out, I used to play football on a Sunday with my mates. Yeah, and yeah, my, yeah. And my left foot is atrocious. Yeah. So whenever I had a shot, I always have to do those shots. You play football, and you go right. It's going to go there. Yeah. And it'll go. Poof, and it'll go like next door garden yeah. or whatever. And I used to turn around and just go, "Are you not entertained?" <laughs> my I'm hoping they they got the reference. <laughs> Yeah, oh, they did. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. <laughs> but that's got a 4K Gladiator now, hasn't it? I think. Steelbook, my friend. Steelbook. Ah, uh, I need to. I need to get an upgrade because mine. I've still just got the regular. Yep, version. I had that sold it. Yeah, would I'd like to get that one in 4K actually? But I do. I really liked as well because I think it's come out like a year or two after another Russell Crowe film. Have you seen? Because this yep. went up for a few awards. That's got Paul Bettany in it as well. Awesome. Yeah, film. it's really one of those awesome. films that you watch it and go, "Oh, that's awesome!" But then you forget mm -hmm. about it after a couple of years, yeah. and then it's... you go, "Oh, I remember that." Mm. And I never hear anyone talk about it either. I re so... I think it almost got lost in Gladiator Shadow because both Russell Crowe both going up for awards. Very, si I think it was like only two years apart. I'm sure they're going to do a sequel to it at some point as well. I think they were. Yeah, shame that never happened because I love that. I love it, that movie. It was he's excellent in it as well. Mm. I grew up on that one. I remember my parents having that on DVD and parts the first parts of the Caribbean. As a kid, I just used to watch those two all the time. Whereas I had VHS and Pinocchio on constantly. Yeah. To be fair, 
I was of the generation where I did have a couple VHSs. I remember having Phantom Menace. Um, I think I had The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast. I've I had got a... an ex-rental copy of Phantom Menace upstairs on video. Oh, really? <laughs> it's like it got with the gold plastic around yeah, it. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah. I remember having those. and I think I had the first two Harry Potters. I had a couple VHSs, but God knows where oh, they are now. I will hold my hand up at this point, for everybody watching. I've only seen one Harry Potter film. Really? Not seen that? Oh, no, no. I think I watched one Harry Potter film, and mm -hmm. maybe the one where Thingy from Twilight dies when he goes swimming. Oh, yeah. I like that one. I think mm -hmm. that's the only ones I've watched. How come? Just just not found the time? I think it's because they came out with more or less the same time on Lord of the Rings. And yeah. I've always held mm -hmm. the opinion, and I'm... I don't know why I haven't changed it, that I thought Lord of the Rings is for adults and Harry Potter is for kids. Yeah. And then because of that, and because I was like, mm, I'm an adult, then I just went down Lord of the Rings route. I mean, do, mm -hmm. I do own them all. I've got them all digitally. So mm -hmm. I, if I want to watch them, I can go and watch them anytime I want. But I've just had no... Yeah. That's fair. To be fair, I, I, I can't lie. I much prefer Lord of the Rings. But um, Harry Potter's a good time. I enjoy them. I, I mean, I've got... missed out because obviously the thing down in London with the studios and everything. Yeah. Because I, I, I remember... The hype of because I it's funny, I went to America, Florida, um, the year the last one came out, and it was just in cinema, just hit cinema, and every every person who we spoke to that was American, they just because Harry Potter was so huge at that point, they were, like, do you like Harry Potter? And I'd be like, yeah. Like, Who's your favorite character? And then all they wanted to do was talk about Harry Potter. It was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I went to Florida was the season Newcastle got relegated and I wore a Newcastle shirt and everybody laughed at me. There you go. <laughs> what year was that? <laughs> oh, 2009. Oh, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> there was also the fact of a wet, because obviously you walk and you go through little bits to get some aircon and you go back out. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I went in through an aircon. I don't know if I told you the story. And there were two people dressed up as Chip and Dale. And they were like, oh, like this, and I was like, yeah, I was up to yeah, give them high yeah. fives. And they were actually waving that kid behind me. Oh, <laughs> so, that's amazing. I, so I got blanked by a chip yeah. deal. <laughs> oh, no one got that on film, did they? <laughs> no, it's a, a good job. Christ, I'm not going to go through that one again. Oh, that's funny. Uh, no, Paul, get that top off and change it. <laughs> and the poster, oh, no, Paul, what, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Honestly, I don't get it. Honestly. Move on, move on, move on. Thanks for I, 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 I think I've, I think I've turned people against this movie over time on my channel. It's influencer for a bad thing is what you're becoming. Yeah, I actually am. It's kind of become my thing just to hate on the rise of Skywalker now. But <laughs> I don't think I ever actually. I mean, although I dislike Birds of Prey, I wouldn't say that I hate it. Mm -hmm. I would give it another go. I think eventually, if it comes down to like a. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. We're not. We're not, we're not linger on that. Carry on. No. No. Um, favorite movie poster. This is interesting because I started a competition today, and the competition is um, to name your five favorite movie posters. So, I've got five different versions of Gladiator. So, mm -hmm. no, I'm joking. I haven't. I, haven't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't have been shocked. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've you've seen mine because I showed you, which was the yeah. Um, mm -hmm. oh, oh, it I looks. Oh, I've got, I love that as well, my Don Kirk one. That's, cool. that, that's a great poster. That is a great poster. There's obviously that Wolverine mm -hmm. one over there. I've got my Cat Marvel one, which I know is yours. Yeah, um, love that. <laughs> but yeah, I've got oh, I've got that one there, the the future one. Yeah, that that's a classic. classic that is an classic. absolute classic. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I think that that Logan one, not Logan, mm -hmm. Wolverine one is probably mm -hmm. my favorite one. Um. I don't know what mine is, because um, I, I kind of like fancy like um, Mondo posters and stuff, but I love the way the prequels posters were for Star Wars, like, because I've got them all lined up there. Yeah, they're all very much similar, aren't they? Yeah, I love how they all match. I think they're so great. Um, but I love things like Mondo done, because I've got, they, they put them on the vinyl soundtracks as well, which I bought. They put the Infinity War and Endgame, they made Infinity War and Endgame posters, and they are amazing so good i like the kind of one they get them when they do a retro i mean like mm. the steelbook here of, of the rocketeer i just yeah, love see, that that's, that's awesome that yeah. 1920s i'd love that because i think i went this is how sad it is i took the kids to like a play uh, soft player and they had all the marvel ones there but they're all like this oh, yeah. kind of font i love that yeah, kind and, of stuff mm. yeah. no that's great because mondo have started doing steelbooks for marvel and i've got to say the ones i've i i don't collect steelbooks but 
I've seen them and they look amazing. I have seen, I'm, you're right, I'm not a big fan of Steelbooks either. To be honest. I mean, the only reason no. I got that is because that was the first time I think it came out on Blu ray and Zabby didn't, and I just love the 1920s thing. That yeah, it. it's, it's not, really... If somebody said you can pay £30 for a Steelbook or you can pay £20 for like a normal Amory, I'd be like, I got the Amory. I don't want yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. Ten pounds for a I'm, bit of plastic metal, nothing. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm the same. I'm, I'm not big on them, but I wish that the Blu-rays got like the artwork that some of them are getting. It's a shame, really, because especially like these Mondo Marvel ones, they look amazing. I think. But yeah, I'm trying to think of favorite posters. Uh, uh, I do like. I think the original, the Strangers poster, was pretty good because it was kind of oh, terrifying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. I just, Wait. iconic ones like the Back to the Future one or like the Alien one with the egg upside down is just, yeah. mm -hmm. so it's still to this day, I don't get that poster. I mean, no. why Why is it, ups why is the egg coming out the bottom? And I don't get that, I, no. I do not get that poster. No, it's um, bizarre. <laughs> but even the Alien 3 one, I just like it. It's yeah. quite simple, just the embryo and it's got Alien 3, mm -hmm. three times of terror, blah, 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 and all that. It's just... But, a bit yeah, like I, the Jurassic Park one, very simple, but it's such a cool logo. Yeah, exactly. And Jurassic World went, oh, we'll just change one yeah. word and change the font a bit. Uh, color, yeah, we'll do it again. Pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, uh, even the Prometheus one. I love the Prometheus one where it's just just her with the torch, and you've mm. got the big um, head of the engineer. Yeah. See, I actually, even though I didn't like the film much, I like the Covenant one a lot. With all, it's like a sculpture thing, isn't it? Like there's an a loads of aliens, and then you've got. Um, I've got that upstairs. Yeah. I I think I remember. Did you did you used to have it in one of your frames? Uh, no, I had I had a one here, and it oh, was right. just basically mm -hmm. the egg, and it just says run. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember. And then now. they did another yeah. one of mm -hmm. um, the Xenomorph's face, and it says hide, and mm -hmm. I just did different things like that. Yeah, yeah that, that's another one that alternate is all. But you're right, that yeah. one. But it looks like it's almost like um, they're all kind of like charred into the wall, and it's yeah. like engineers and xenomorphs yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I've, was. I've, but I've only it's was... only like a, it's only about that big of that poster. Oh, is it? That's sh that was actually quite a nice poster. I got to admit. That, but I kind of did, I liked it, but I'm like, it's got nothing to do with the movie. No, and it's very true. It's very true. <laughs> so, engineers were barely in it. <laughs> oh, ridiculous. Um, have any of you seen Big with Tom Hanks? I have, but I can't remember it. <laughs> Zoltar. So, oh, it's been so long since I've seen that movie. Zoltar is the name of the um, when he gives it when he puts the money in. It's the wizard in the box. Oh, yeah, it's oh, Zoltar. I really can't remember. It's funny. I watched Tom Hanks film today. I watched um, the Da Vinci Code for the first time. Okay. Because I've got I picked this up in CEX very cheap, and I haven't watched any of them so i thought i should probably crack into these um so i'm finally going through these tom hanks films i saw the first two at the cinema but i haven't mm -hmm. seen inferno all the way I, through i've heard it's not very good inferno. i can't get over his hair in it no because he has i i it's funny because when i was watching the da vinci code i'm not used to tom hanks with this kind of hair and i'm like oh it actually suits him really well tom hanks with a mullet in inferno yeah. is just nah yeah I must admit. <laughs> well, yeah, Tom Hanks for me. Have you seen Dragnet yet? No, no, I haven't. No, you've got to watch Dragnet. With yeah. him and Dan Aykroyd. It's oh, really? Just, is it? It's because it was based on a nineteen sixties um, American TV show, and mm -hmm. it just did a one-off. But it's just, and it's Tom Hanks's comedic role, and it is so good. It's oh, right. it's just because yeah. they're always going about, like this Friday is the name of um, I think Dan Aykroyd's character. And he always goes on about Connie Swales is this. Basically, these people are trying to sacrifice people, and they've got to get mm -hmm. a virgin to sacrifice. So at the end, yeah. they, they always call her the Virgin Connie Swales. So mm -hmm. at the end, because Tom Hanks gets with her, he goes, "Oh, were you with the Virgin Connie Swales?" And he goes, yeah. "Do you mean Connie Swales?" And he goes, <laughs> duh, 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 duh. <laughs> "Oh, dude, that's good. I like it." <laughs> so yeah, I, I'd recommend Dragnet. It's, mm -hmm. it's one. It's one of my favorite Tom Hanks movies. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably jump on that. To be fair, and I, I do love a bit of Tom Hanks. He's a fantastic actor. He did because he went from comedic to serious, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's very diverse, definitely. Exactly. Um, do you feel like episodes seven through nine missed out on digging deeper into Finn's storyline about Stormtrooper defecting? That was fascinating. Um, uh, but the movies introduced too many new characters instead. Um, yeah, I think Finn's one of the characters which got a bit shafted for me. I think they could have done a lot more with him. But Star Wars does this a lot because the prequels done it heavily. And even though I'm a bit biased because I grew up with the prequels, 
the character work in those films isn't great. It's just things like the Clone Wars have taken those characters and made them great. So maybe there'll be something like that for the sequel soon. There'll be like a TV well, show. That you've can... also got to realise is one through nine is a Skywalker saga, isn't it? Yeah. It's not Finn saga. No. So they're not really going to go that much into his background. Mm-hmm. You've got to into like Kylo Ren's background because he's part of the Skywalker mm. family as such. Yeah. Um, and, and so you kind of get it. Even with Obi-Wan Kenobi, you really don't get into his younger years. No. Out from the f- episodes one to three or... Um, Mace Windu or mm-hmm. Yoda, you don't go into that. So Finn was basically there as a character, a yeah. bit like a Han Solo, because we didn't get any of his background until a new Solo film came no. out. Um, but I think it's it, it's good because he Finn was the first black guy to have a leading role in the Star Wars series, really, mm-hmm. um, other than Lando Calrissian. But he was very much Billy Dee Williams was in the background. So to have yeah. Finn as a leading actor, I think. But yeah, we're not going to go down the race route. But the whole reason no, yeah. I don't think Finn got a backstory is because it's the Skywalker saga, not the Finn. Yeah, and but I if say they get first order troopers backstory, so they can see how they mm. got them all enslaved, them all that kind of thing. Yeah, and like a breakaway movement, we could do that. I, I think it's something that we'll see eventually. Star Wars will always have content coming out, and we'll go back to the sequels at some point for sure. Of course, we'll because we'll run out of ideas. Yeah, exactly. Um, this year, when cinemas reopen, um, out of the choices, which are you most looking forward to? A Quiet Place 2, the last Daniel Craig Bond film, or Suicide Squad? None of them. Ghostbusters oh, really? Afterlife. Oh, really? Oh, I don't know. Uh... Although, of those, it will be A Quiet yeah. Place, part mm-hmm. two. But for me, it's Ghostbusters Afterlife because of the build up for the 2016 awful awful answer the call that, that was a awful film yeah i didn't um, like that film this obviously by reitman's son i'm looking forward jason right i'm looking forward to to seeing it yeah um i think I'm, also because i grew up on ghostbusters i love the first one the first one's great i'm i'm really excited to see paul rudd i love paul rudd um he'll he's sold me on that film instantly so apparently <laughs> According to Mr. Fett, mm-hmm. he is the buddy. Oh, very interesting. It's weird because right, they released that clip of him, didn't they? Yeah, and that was I... to, because there's lot because it's been delayed. This is what Rob tells me. Rob copy mm-hmm. shit. Let's be honest. Yeah. Sorry, Rob, if you're watching, <laughs> it, I'm just passing on what he's told me. Yeah. It, it's the fact that they've got because it's so delayed. They've got loads of merchandise to get out, and obviously they've got a lot uh, of little mini yeah. stay puffed to come out. Yeah. So they've, obviously, if they can get that out into the market before the film comes out, mm-hmm. then they can sell it before yeah. the film gets released, I'm presuming. I can't lie. I thought it was like a, a, a an advert for something at first. It was a very odd clip, I thought. <laughs> well, I think when I watched it, I thought it was one of the, you know, when you watch um, Halftime Advert, no, I don't watch this with a ball, but the no, yeah. actors mm-hmm. doing it. I yeah, I know it what you that, mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was going to be an advert for like, like, I don't know, like marshmallows in connection mm-hmm. with yeah. Ghostbusters Afterlife yeah. or whatever, they were going to release that. But I didn't think it was actually a part of the movie. No, that's exactly what I thought. It really caught me off guard. But yeah, I, I, I think for me, out of those, I'm actually most looking forward to Suicide Squad, but I really am looking forward to A Quiet Place too. I think for me, it'll be Ghostbusters, Quiet Place, yeah, No Time to Die, and then Suicide Squad. I'm really looking forward to Dune, I've got to say. If we're doing have any Have you watched films, the David Lynch yet? I have not. I'm going to do it before the new one. Um but I, I, I'm so looking forward to that movie. It, it's confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because I, I watched it ages ago, and the one I've got is the, I had to get an import because I wanted the 3D version of it. Mm. So I've got the 3D, but it, it was German. And then I've got the, Rob picked this up, the TV show. Mm-hmm. I saw that in Tesco's, actually, in my... Um, I think, so, yeah, I, my so I fancy watching that and then mm-hmm. the TV show. So when you come in, you're like, yeah. I'm not going to be confused about what the fuck's going yeah. on. But I used to play... Um, do you remember the PC game Dune 2 Battle for Arrakis? Um, yeah, I never played it, but I, I know of it, yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's very much a bit like Command and Conquer. You remember that one? I might if I see it. I might well, if you I kinda, see it. You've got to build up little bases and go out and kill them. Yeah. You, have to, you have to choose House Harkonnen, House mm-hmm. Atreides, or, and you've got to choose it and you've got to build your house uh, and, mm-hmm. and then build up and get your little men to go out. And, and But you can't go somewhere because the sandworms will get you, so you've got to try and go there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. The only thing uh, wrong with the doing David Lynch is at the end, uh, when he become, I'm not going to spoil it to you. Um, yeah. I'll try not to spoil it for you. Yeah. The, the eye effect 
mm-hmm. on Kyle McLaughlin. It's not the best. Oh, isn't it? No. <laughs> I will I will definitely watch it before the new one. Definitely. Yeah, I nearly spoke through there. I'm glad I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> um Hello Winslow. This is I feel terrible. This is this is comments over an hour ago. All right, come on, come on then. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> We're definitely not getting through it today. No. Paul, you're watching Line of Duty. Yes, I am. I absolutely adore Line of Duty. The mm-hmm. wife and I love it so much so that because we haven't watched it since the last series, what we've done is well actually, I'll be honest, James is ruining my Monday night because I do my live stream on a Sunday. So we watch mm-hmm. Line of Duty on a Monday. But because oh. I've been I've been invited here. Un- unlike Jordan, I don't refuse because yeah. of Line of Duty. Um <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we're rewatching it from the beginning while watching the new series. So everything kind of makes sense. So mm-hmm. we're now up to season three, episode two, while mm-hmm. also watching season six, episode five, we're up to, so six. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I love yeah. Line of Duty. I, I think Line of Duty is the best show I've seen in a very, yeah. very long It's the, the fact that Jed McCurry, who writes it, have you seen it? I've not. My mum, I don't know a lot of people do, and my mum loves it as well. So I know because Jed Mercurio, people... right? Because he's obviously wrote the first one, known mm-hmm. fine well that a character out the first, well, a character out the first one is then going mm-hmm. to be in the current series. All oh, right. Yeah. Because it's all in his head. Obviously, the storyline about about mm-hmm. police corruption and everything. It, the story. Oh, it's it's, it's it's yeah. It's a brilliant piece of TV making. Yeah. No, I've heard nothing but incredible things about it. To be fair, and it is. Even though it's about you think oh it's about anti corruption well that's going to be yeah. rubbish yeah it's, it's so it's so good my favorite scene is when getting the, the, the interrogation scenes mm-hmm. is so so good and I yeah. love I have a man crushing Steve on it yeah. just just to say <laughs> I, I'm trying to think if I've seen him in anything Martin Comston yeah I... he was in um I think Elizabeth the Golden Age and he was also in a, a Scottish movie called Wee Man about a drug Drug uh, no, I, I know him, but I don't think I've actually seen anything with him in thinking about it. But yeah. I definitely think he was in like either Elizabeth the Golden Age or Elizabeth, mm-hmm. the one with Kate Blanchett as Elizabeth the First. Yeah. I think he was in one of them. But other than oh. that, I don't think he's in any others that I know. But everybody will no. probably. So in about two hours' time, when we get the answers from yeah. you, <laughs> we'll see you in about four hours, guys, on those comments. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, answer that question. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very good. Um, where did you put those? Bong Joon Ho and Alfred Hitchcock sets. I put them on my collection more. They're sort of just where are they? There they are, right at the top. Really nice sets, actually. Those ones. I've, I've actually since I moved my four Ks because mm. I, I moved the Marvel to the top and I moved them to yeah. the shelf down. So that's only Marvel and everything. But what I did is I moved down here and I put all my box sets underneath the telly. They look really awesome there together, actually. So like I've got. Um, like all the got the Indiana yeah. Jones, Friday the Thirteenth, oh, Tarantino, Tarantino, Tarantino Hannibal, yeah. Stanley, uh, National Treasure, Cloverfield, mm-hmm. Scream, Clint Eastwood, Bourne, all the way down to um, Girl Trilogy. Yeah. So, yeah. No, they look awesome there together. We're to lost, but I was just like, because all down there used to be Marvel, no collecting loads of dust, and they weren't really. Yeah. Oh, not that anybody comes in here. Even the wife doesn't come into this yeah. room. Um, but yeah, because all the Marvel are up there now. Yeah, there you go. yeah, see, I, 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 my stuff was all scattered as well, and I wanted to do like my little collection wall here, which I really like because I've got like, um, I put all my premiums together up the top, and then all my arrows and my criterions. But other than that, this is all kind of scattered still a bit. This Actually, a you've, bit you've probably seen this. Let me just quickly show this because I know I'm kind of mm. going over the thing. So I feel like I'm on uh, MTV Cribs here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. welcome to Cribs. <laughs> <laughs> is that over here? Just going to stretch. Should do. Is I've got you like these. These are my two Star Wars. Oh, albums. they look awesome with the I've pop got, vinyls. And I, yeah, I got these off three. That one's off Rob. That one I bought. Yeah. That one I bought. The rest I've got off Karis. Oh, okay. Yeah, or, yeah. Or Kazan. I can't remember. Oh, no, it's Karis. Mm-hmm. Sorry, sorry, Karis. Um, but these two here, I got these two including postage for eight quid. So oh, these wow. are the Rogue One. So they've got like little star. They've got the yeah. fighters in there and everything. But then underneath, you... yeah, go on. Well, I was gonna say, where'd you get them from? They're awesome. E- eBay. Oh, really? Oh, wow. I wanted a lava lamp, but the wife goes, mm-hmm. you're not in the 90s anymore. You're not having lava lamps. So I wasn't allowed them. So, yeah, so they're, they're just kind of like, if I turn one of them off, can I turn one of them off? Hang on. Oh, you can't see them worse. But, yeah, yeah. one's red and one's... See, I'm colourblind, so, like, I'm red. Yeah. So I, oh, I really? One's, oh, okay. one's green, one's yellow. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah. But then here we've got... 
I can't even see it's not gonna stretch. So we've got get out there. This is this is my Lord oh, of the Shelf. Love those sets, yeah. And that's I've got awesome. my little Lord of, that's me ring. Oh, that is awesome. I'm actually so jealous. That is awesome. I got that at the time, I think, when the first film came out. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh um, man, that's cool. And then I've got me it's my Star Wars Rogue One book. Yeah. Band of Brothers. Oh, then, so I can I can see the Last Jedi. I can see it. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> Shite. Love it. I love I love that you got some Clone Wars in there as well, though. That was that, the first season and the movie, and Rob yeah. gave me the Star Wars Rebels, which I haven't got around to watching yet. Yeah. And then at the bottom, obviously, you've got this. <laughs> yes, I know that. I know that. There's you're a big fan. <laughs> oh yes. And then you've got the good old before uh, I, I, I need to get watch that yeah i really want to get them you know really want to get them i can see your ring set as well that's me yeah so me right. ring me what world oh. i can't get now because out of print the thing which is out of print as well tremors what a cracking movie tremors and i'll see me rubble cup and then i have mm -hmm. got the criterion up there that's all my dc apart from mm -hmm. birds of prey and all, that's all my arrow stuff as well yeah. up there. oh nice so, wow that looks awesome I'm, I, you know what? You might have convinced me to get a lava lamp there because they look awesome. Well, if I find one on eBay, I'll send you the link. So you, yeah, they're that, so I cool. Think you can because they're the Rogue One ones. That's the only reason I got it. It's because yeah. because it's Rogue One, and obviously I like Rogue One. I used to have like some huge lava lamp in my room. I don't really know why I got rid of it because I think lava lamps are awesome. Yeah. Well, I wanted one for like yeah. downstairs, you know, with a bit of mood lighting for me and yeah. the missus. Mm -hmm. But like I said, she's like, no, Paul, you don't live in the 90s, like I said earlier. So, <laughs> Gotta do as you're told. <laughs> she, she, she comes to this room, she's like, it's like a teenager's bedroom. I bet you have loads of wanks in there on your own, don't you? All right. <laughs> it's don't funny, because at the minute, my sister is more or less living around her boyfriend's, and I keep waiting for her to say, she's staying around there. And then I could put all of this in her room, and I can make this room look normal. <laughs> Yeah, you want it back? Yeah, well, that's the beauty of you when moving in this house. We'll have this. Yeah. I mean, the whole idea is I'm going to move this because this is the extension. Mm -hmm. So underneath me is the kids' playroom, but I want it the other way around. Yeah. So this will be when they're old enough, so I can then have downstairs. So when the wife's in the front room, I can just walk across mm -hmm. the lawn and go on the other one. I yeah. either want to project it. I, I, I tell her, oh, this. she's going to say, no, what am I talking yeah. about? It's not going to happen. <laughs> um, um, but the, the lucky thing was we got a new sofa when we got the 4K mm -hmm. tele, so the old sofa from downstairs is now like is now yeah. there so yeah. how i got that upstairs on my own i have got no idea because no. because she, she went stuff to the tip and she went where's the sofa and took it upstairs how'd you do that i said i don't know but it involved a lot of swearing <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant <laughs> well i suppose at least now you can relax while you're in there with your movies and stuff because do you use that as your office as well for work yeah you know? so i mean as it stands at the moment i'm just it's nothing confidential yeah. works if you're watching yeah. it's nothing yeah. here i've got obviously i've got my my phone for work mm -hmm. my screen this mm -hmm. here and then i've got the the hard drives over there yeah so that's all all there uh, well that's all right. at least you got your sofa in there so if you need to chill out for five minutes or have a lay down or something oh yeah that's all right. i've got yeah but don't forget though i've got i've got the bed as well oh yeah yeah that's true <laughs> this, so this is basically it was the man room but it's now turned into because i work in social care the mm -hmm. social care so it's a social care man room yeah. and also if i snore the kicked out of bed where you're going to yeah. sleep room so, love it love it it's a trilogy <laughs> oh dear um by any chance were you watching birds of prey um no i pulled this up because it's um it's, it's Jordy's favorite movie so i thought i'd bring it out for him <laughs> no no <laughs> it's one of those things of birds of prey is, mm. i had that on digital yeah um, and I got it, and it was, I think it's one of those things where you buy it digitally, you get it, but you can only have it for so long, and then the company take it off you. So I had yeah. it, and, and then the company took it off us. So I did watch yeah. it, um, but luckily it, it got removed from my <laughs> digital library, so there is I a god. I don't actually think I've heard you say in a video why you hate the movie so much. <laughs> I, just not just not your cup of tea sort of thing? I or? think it's down the fact of... I don't think... And I'm going to get a lot of hate here. And, and I know you you get a lot of hate from DC and Zack Snyder stuff. Is oh, that, yeah, I've had it. <laughs> I don't think, although Margot Robbie is good as, as Harley Quinn, Yeah. I don't think Harley Quinn in the DC universe as it stands, movie-wise, is a strong enough lead character to have. I, I don't think she should have led a movie. 
And I that's why she, that. to me, Harley Quinn is very much, I know this is an animated series, mm-hmm. but she's a sidekick. Yep, I agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's always been, it's not like a Poison Ivy or who's the main character or anything mm-hmm. like that. And that's not the fact. It's got nothing to do with all being women. I don't mm-hmm. give a shit about that. Um, it's just the fact that I, I just, I just, I just watched it. I just thought this is a weak DC film. Yeah. It's not a, a leading. You know, you've got all the other characters that come out. Like, I mean, even Captain Marvel. Yeah, you know, you don't like it, mm-hmm. but I think her as a character is a stronger leading character mm-hmm. than Harley yeah. Quinn. And, oh, yeah, and, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. And and it's just and the title's fucking shit. Oh, yeah, no, no, I don't know what they were thinking. Um, I, I don't hate the movie by any means, but there's one thing I love about that movie, and that's Hugh McGregor in it. Even him as a villain, he was pretty bad. He, he wasn't really oh. that evil, really, was he? I don't know. I really enjoyed him in it, just because he was so charismatic. I, mean, I love it. I, I love you. I think Hugh McGregor's great and all that, but I don't know. Yeah. Is that, I, just, I mean, I don't hate it. I don't yeah. really hate films. I just mm-hmm. either like them or dislike them. Yeah. Or really, really love them. I um, think it's fun when you're on camera to act it up, like get annoyed like I do with films. I think people enjoy that. That's why I think people assume my hatred for some things are, is a bit more than what it actually is. Rise of Skywalker, that one I genuinely hate. But I think other things, like when I do these bad movie reviews, I can't lie, play it up a bit. Because I think people find it entertaining, if you know what I mean. Well, yeah, well, you, you, you've got to play it to your audience, and if people yeah. like the fact that you're going to slag them off, then do it. Yeah. You know, it's a bit like Howard Stern. I'm sure he'll just be a nice guy in the street, Probably. or maybe Piers Morgan. He's, he'll probably be really nice to you. But yeah. his persona, as you put across, is you've got to, you've got to, not so much play up to the camera. Yeah. You no, know, but like, mm-hmm. no, I mean, there's not that many films. I mean, I can, I, I think basically either I like a film, it's an average film, or it's shit. I don't yeah. think I hate a film. For me, the only one, it, it is The Rise of Skywalker. That's the only one that I truly have a passionate hatred for. But I think, I think if you weren't as involved in Star Wars as you are, then I don't think you would have hated it. Oh, no, I agree. It's because I, I, I know a lot about the lore and stuff, and it's because that film just kind of chucks all that in a bin. I felt a bit like, oh. But I, you're right. If I didn't know as much about Star Wars, if I didn't know about the lore and stuff, I think I'd be a bit like, oh, yeah, it was all right. Yeah, I mean, even though I've got two Star Wars tattoos, you you still got more knowledge than me, yeah. and you don't have any. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I am planning to get one actually. I am planning I still to get seen one. Clone Wars. Oh, I love Clone Wars. The thing is, Clone Wars, the first two seasons starts off a bit childish because I think that's the audience they were going for, and then they realised that it was actual more adult Star Wars fans watching. You hit about season three. Awesome I think show. That's why I didn't get into it because I thought it was yeah. very much aimed at kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially the, the the and I didn't I don't think I'm really into the animation type that they used. It gets again about season three. They 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 um, gave it bigger budget, changed the outfits, and it's funny about season three. It really ups itself. It gets so much better. That's how I felt about Game of Thrones. Oh really? What you thought it got better? Uh, one for me, it was a struggle to get the, through the first two seasons, but then just one episode oh. and it just went off. And then don't get me wrong, I love Game of Thrones. It's mm-hmm. awesome, mm-hmm. but it took me a while. To get into it, yeah. Till it took off. See, for me, I love the first. The first four seasons of Game of Thrones for me are the best TV I've ever watched. I think I absolutely love it. The Battle of the Bastards is probably the best TV thing I've ever. And then, that one's really good. Yeah. And um, I hope nobody's watching this. But when um, I've forgotten his name now. I love that character. I've forgotten what's his name. Um, the guy who cut Ramsey. off his body. Yes, I love that. <laughs> that character is yeah, perfectly played. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and it's like when he gets whatever happens to him. I'm not going to spoil it for everybody. Yeah. What happens to him? You're like, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. But I, I just love that character. I just it's, thought, it's, it's like I miss Joffrey when he went. I was like, I kind of miss him now. <laughs> and then even the fact of like the 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 red wedding that was awesome, mm-hmm. especially when you've yeah. got the uh, the drummer from Coldplay up on the balcony. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, why we got an Ed Sheeran cameo? I don't like Ed Sheeran. Don't get me wrong, but why we got mm-hmm. a cameo? It just seemed. Yeah, they didn't even gritty him up or nothing. It's like, it just felt so out of place. But then again, I can't like, I, I, I hate to be one of those people, but I just wasn't too impressed with the last two seasons of Game of Thrones. It was such a, especially the last season, I was really last disappointed. Just, uh, the ending had to come. I just think mm-hmm. because of the, was it a scriptwriter's ban, wasn't it? Or something like that. Or? Yeah, well, I'm I'm not entirely sure. Obviously, they they'd gone beyond the books and stuff, and you could sort it of was tell rushed. That, That's yeah. what I would use. They 
because they had a contract with Lucasfilm, which got disbanded after it. You could tell they were rushing to get to Star Wars, and then they didn't even get to make their Star Wars product. So it's it's, it's such I a shame. I don't think really. the the last season spoils it for me. I just think as overall, no. it's just. Yeah, some of the best TV for me. The first four seasons are the best thing I've ever watched. I still really like season five and six. I enjoyed seven, didn't love it. Eight, eight, eight is what it is. I've just thought as well. I know we're shitloads behind here, but mm-hmm. you and I should have a one live stream only about The Office. Yeah, but, but I can go. Yes, yes. what a fantastic show! <laughs> it's just, I don't get me wrong, I love Ricky Gervais, I love the UK office, but yeah. for me, the US office took it and just went ran with it. And me and the wife love Dwight and we love Creed. Yeah. Those yeah. are just... Oh, Creed's so good. I, I, I only discovered the office about, oh, must be about three years ago now, because my friend Ryan, who I do a podcast with, he went to Bournemouth University. And um, I'd go down there once every two weeks on the weekend, because um, it's a very uh, clubby place. So we go out... Um, for a piss up one night and then the next morning we will always watch the office and it, it just I, I remember coming home and i carry on watching it and it was it's it's the most it's the best comfort food tv show i've ever watched yeah because all you've got is 25 30 minutes of just yeah. nonsense mm. um it just just going on youtube and googling all the openings that dwight and jim yeah. have it's just I, even every Christmas the wife goes to me, fa la 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 kitchen. Yeah. Every Christmas, <laughs> without fail, we have to put that episode yeah. on, you know, and you say, I'm gonna buy it off you, and it's the black yeah. doll, you're just like, Oh, yeah. brilliant. <laughs> you just, you just we couldn't anyway, but, uh, like I said, we could talk about that, but yeah. I mean, it's your stream, you can talk what you like, but we're gonna uh, be behind you. Hey, well uh, we're we're not doing these we're we're so far behind. Uh, should we say are you okay to go to a quarter past, should we say then? And I'll probably I, I mean I've got to get up at five tomorrow, so I I can't really go too well, much later. I'll go that, on but... until you wish to get rid of me. Uh we'll go to a quarter past. Guys, I'm sorry about us doing such a but but to be fair, it's been a I've got to say it's been a very fun stream just talking to you, mate. It's been a pleasure. I am a funny guy. It's not just Robert holds my stream together, no. you know. <laughs> well, hey, we've all learnt tonight. <laughs> exactly. Um would you give away your four Ks in your collection in return for another lightsaber? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't do that. Because the four Ks in my collection at this point outweigh the price of one of these lightsabers but i am going to get another saber i'm very lucky i get a bonus every year when i get my bonus this year i'm going to get another one because i i love my lightsaber it's like the prized piece in my collection i don't have anything like that i'm afraid i'd love to get the ones from because last obviously when i went to disney didn't have the mm-hmm. new uh, star yeah. wars there so when i go mm-hmm. back i'd like to go and build i yeah. think about 200 dollars or 250 i think yeah to build that... your own lightsaber but I'll have this, to get that through customs on the way back. Oh god, this well, this one comes because this is from America. This one, this came from. Um, oh, I can't remember the state. It was on the far side where I had all those fires last year. Okay, no idea. Um, but it it because they they hand built this one because this website that I got it off Saberforge is the same thing. You can build your own, but I wanted to get a replica. Um, but they hand built it for me and c- it coming through customs. It actually come through quite quick, surprisingly. I'm just trying to think if you have like a lightsaber from Disneyland as a kind of mm. carry on. Yeah, I don't think you'd probably like that on a plane. No, no. <laughs> I think you, you you'd probably get away with the hilt, but you'd probably have to maybe order yeah. the the blade in. You can or just something. see him. We've been hijacked by a man with a lightsaber. Is yeah. it red or green? I'm not yeah. too sure. I'll have to, what colour yeah. lightsaber is it? It's blue. No, they're all right. Carry on. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I I gotta admit though, it's it's the best thing I've bought. I I absolutely love it. To be fair, I've been. I remember school looking at buying these, so I've wanted this for ages. So it's it's a very cool item. Yeah, I, I think the wife would kill me if I did that. Yeah, I, yeah it's a lot of money. They're very expensive. <laughs> do it while you can. That's all I'm saying. Before yeah. you and the missus ever even think about yeah. getting the place, do Honestly, it while you can. I, I remember even buying it. I like to close my eyes. I was like, ah, oh, because it's so much money to spend on one go. But oh well, I'll do it. I'll do it again in December. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Do you like Adam Sandler at all? I know everyone hates him. I don't think everyone hates him. He's got a fan base. Adam Sandler was good in the nineties. Mm, I Adam Sandler's weird. He'll do like a good movie, then he'll do a crap one. He'll do a good one, crap one, good one, crap. One. That's kind of how I uh, 
look at Adam Sandler. He was on this wave with Adam Sandler. Um, sorry. Um, Big Daddy and Happy yeah. Gilmore and mm -hmm. growing like that. Was... And then he crashed when he did Mr. Deeds and he went further down. And then obviously he's punched punched yeah. a grill over and he's got a bit back up. And then obviously he's done that new one, which what's it called again? Oh, One Cut Gems. That's I one, really yeah. like that. See, I really like that one he had in mid 2000s of a click. Yeah, it was all right. Did it have some? It wasn't Jennifer Anderson, no, was it? No. I, I, Christopher Walken was it, his guy gave him the... Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, like, I, I really like that one. I like the first Grown Ups. That's good. I haven't, I've, I haven't seen either of those ones. Oh, the first one's good. He had one called um, You Don't Mess With The Zohan, which I oh, kind of liked. Bad. Oh. oh, I didn't mind that one. Um, What other ones were there that I liked? I like the one where he pretended to be married to Kevin James. And I'll pronounce you Chuck and Larry. That's it. Yeah, I didn't mind that one. That was all right. But yeah. um, I, I wouldn't say yeah, I hate but... him. He's a bit like Brendan Fraser. He's had a deal in the nineties. Yeah, there's there's some there's some real good stuff there, but then there's some there is some absolute trash there as well. He's a bit like Bruce Willis. <laughs> Bruce Willis has got had yeah. his deal, and he's just like, "We're going to pay you two million dollars, Bruce." Okay, where do I yeah. sign? Do you want to know the script or the film? No, not really. Yeah. Just give us loads of money. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. Bruce Willis is very. Oh, I don't know what he's doing now. I really don't know what he's doing now. Well, he did that new one, any anti life. I started watching that on Netflix the other day, and it's fucking wrong. I, I, yeah, I, it's funny. I saw it pop up on Netflix today. Um, when I, I watched the Da Vinci Code instead, but um, I saw it pop up today and thought, well, I can't be asked for that. I can't be asked. No, it's so low budget. Yeah, nah, I can imagine. Um, James, are you a fan of the franchise Ratchet and Clank? The new game comes out on June 11. Looks so fun. I'm. I mean, I played those games. I'm. I might get the new one. Have you played those ones? No, uh, not my generation. I'm afraid. I no. just went through Super Mario, Sonic, and then yeah. I just went into all um, Street Fighter 2 and um, yeah, Golden Eye. And the reason I bought SNES was for Street Fighter 2. The reason I bought a 64. Mm -hmm. Well, I see. Mm -hmm. I bought a 64. The reason my parents bought me a yeah. 64 was for was for Golden Eye. And I never had anything. And then the PlayStation 3 came out, and I was like, oh, call, yeah. call it, call it, call it. I always call Line of Duty Call of Duty. So I've got the wife yeah. watching Call of Duty tonight. So I'm like, do you mean Line of Duty? I'm like, oh, sorry. Um, Modern Warfare 2, I think, came out. Oh, uh, cracking it, game. Yeah. Because my mate had it, and I was like, right, and I was like, oh, online all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And no, no one's ever compared to that. But yeah, I've never gone into the whole kind of like Ratchet and Clank or Crash Bandicoot. I've never gone that line no. of gaming. I've never gone down there. No, it's already been my thing either too. I I don't know. My console. I mean, the first console I had was actually a Sega console. I remember having that, and I think my parents got me. I, it was, yeah, it was the PlayStation Two. That that is my childhood console. I remember playing like um, I've still got some PlayStation Two games here. They're mostly Star Wars ones, but I remember playing like the original Battlefront games, and they were just that, that's my childhood. See, I started off with a Commodore sixty four, yeah, and then I got an Atari ST. So oh, we right. had to put yeah. the cassettes in, you had to load it up with the multicolored bars mm -hmm. coming up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um and it must be I like put... the Sega one. That was just that had the multicolored bars, didn't it? I think. And you put like the big game in the top. Like, I big had a cube just get I still got my original Game Boy downstairs. And mm -hmm. then I had Atari Lynx, which I think I sold. Mm -hmm. uh, never had a game gear. I was very much Nintendo man. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. and then my first console, like I say, was a SNES. Um I I just love Street Street Fighter 2 on the SNES yeah. was just unbelievable. Yeah. I still got it upstairs. I still oh, really? got gold, Golden Eye in the box yeah. upstairs, like the the game cartridge. I mean, sixty quid we paid for those games in the cartridges at the mm, time. Mm. That's still in the box. The Nintendo sixty four box is still in the roof. In the loft. Well, I, I sold my PS two and felt so guilty because it was my childhood console. So I rebought everything. <laughs> I, I still got my PS three, yeah, because yeah. I use it as a as a DVD player up here. Uh, to be fair, I still have my PS three. It's the only console I don't use anymore because I got my PS four still. Um, because the memory on the PS5 is so crap, I couldn't move all my games over. So I do occasionally have to go back onto my PS4, but I, I can't. I don't use my PS3 much anymore. No, it, yeah, yeah, it's it, PS3 is purely like for for DVDs. Yeah, because the PS4 was downstairs, but mm -hmm. because I'm home working, I brought the PS4 upstairs. And it's not too yeah. bad now because I can get Apple TV on that and Disney Plus on that. Oh right, yeah. <clears throat> Whereas Virgin <laughs> doesn't have that. No. Um, and the TV, the 3D TV is an older one, so it doesn't have it on the smart built-in. Yeah. Um. So yeah, but the problem is now I watch them all up here, so I don't get to watch them all in 4K. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's see, I I I I'm so happy that I because I I can't lie, I don't use my PS5 much. I don't play games 
near as much as I did last year. Me and games have, I, I think it's just because there haven't been any new releases this year that have been too exciting for me. So my PS5 has mainly been used as a 4K player so far. Well, I'll tell you what, this year, this is gonna, I'm not even going to get it out because it'll fall out. I went on the way for so long, right, you can get one. Credit mm-hmm. card, paid for it. Yeah. The PSVR. Mm-hmm. Got it? Mm-hmm. And I, what the time is, I would normally play it on the night time. I'd put it on. Kids are in bed. Wife's got the bed. I'll put it on, put the headphones in. But then it got the t- time where the kid would start crying during the night and I wouldn't, I'd be dead to the world. I wouldn't yeah. hear anybody. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking of selling it, but I'm like, no, I'll still probably use it because the Batman yeah. Arkham game is, is amazing in VR. Um, and when you put it on and you watch 3D through it without the glasses because it's just, that makes it 3D. It's just, yeah. But again, you're right. It's just done there. It hasn't been plugged yeah. in for nearly a year now. No, it, it, I almost feel a bit guilty because I spent so much money on it. And I do occasionally play games on it and stuff, but I don't know. I, I, I'm mostly just using it as a 4K player at the minute. Just think of all those younger kids crying because their parents yeah. couldn't get a PS5 and there's yours uh, collecting dust. As a... I know. I'm absolutely rotten, I am. <laughs> Disgusting behaviour. Disgusting. Um, it's next... interesting. Oh, sorry, go on. <laughs> no, 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 I was going to say, on the next question. Oh, um, what are you guys watching tonight? I think I'm going to watch Police Academy 1. Ah, from your new set. Very nice. That is the plan. I am watching the original King Kong vs. Godzilla tonight. I'm finishing 53? it. I think it's late 50s, because the first, yeah, the first Godzilla's 54. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm getting... Yep, oh, it's Jason. I got it wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes. That man knows everything about those movies. I really need to actually ask him because once I finish this set, I know that there's obviously a load of Godzilla films from the later eras and stuff, but I don't know where you can watch them. Is there like a set in America you can get? And it's like, I know Jason and I. Of course, I you love them, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's got everything. I, uh, question. I don't know. I, 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 I will be asking him that. Um, but anyway, like somebody's. Go- oh, I can't believe how far behind we are. How's it going? Uh, now, it's, nearly, it's nearly gone. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, what was the first handheld console you had? I had the Game Boy Advance SP. My, I, I think mine was a little Game Boy as well. Just a yeah, small little the original Game Boy. The one yeah. where I had to get like the big you, white. You can't, you can't play it in the dark. Is it the big white one? Because my mum had it's hers. Yellow now, but yeah. Yeah, I because I had my mum's. I didn't play it much because obviously I had the the what was at the time the Just new. Just to one. get something, I never asked this. Mm-hmm. How old are your parents? My parents are well. My mum is fifty-two. Oh, it's okay. That's fine. So, just because yeah. I work with somebody who's similar to your age and his mum's the same age as me, and I just like oh. that could have been awkward. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but because they're they're very much kids of the. Oh, my mum is very much kid of the eighties, so I think she had the big white. That's when I had yeah. Game Boy, yeah. It's still, like you say, it's still downstairs. And Tetris yeah. is still in it. Oh, really? Uh, see, what was mine that I played on it? It might have been a Mario Kart game or something like that. I really can't remember. And then the Atari, like I said earlier, the Atari Lynx after that. Yeah. I enjoyed mm-hmm. the Atari Lynx. It was a good little console. Yeah. It's yeah. It's it's funny. I like going back to the old ones. It's, it's just nostalgic. I've got a PSP liner. I never use it. I never had a PSP. I never had one. I just, it was one of those things. I just don't, I just like, handheld consoles are dead now, really, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. It's, I think, because your phones, you know, the apps and stuff. But... Exactly. Smartphones took over, really. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it's coming up to quarter past. So I think if it's okay, we might end the stream there then. <laughs> yes. So apologies to the 300 questions we have not yeah. answered, but you're welcome to the five that we did. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. This is. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I think that's good. Gr- it's great when you can just roll off on a conversation with someone like that. I think it's, but that that's the worst I've ever done on comments. <laughs> is it because I, 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 I always go, I, I blame Jason because yeah. no, don't blame, I said to Jason when I was on his stream, mm-hmm. you always go off on tangents. You got it because he's like, How do you keep on COVID? Yeah. I'm just like, but I think basically because it's not my stream, I don't give a shit. Yeah. So no. yeah. <laughs> hey, look, as long as we're having a good conversation, that's because that's what that's all that because it's entertainment to everyone. And I, you know, I had a very good time tonight. So thank you for coming on. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, you can. I mean, obviously, we should have had it last week, but my child yeah. decided to hurt herself, so that got yeah. delayed. <laughs> and obviously, Alex 
luckily jumped in to replace me, which is very kind of him. Yeah. And then he had to take on the whole show by himself, which again is very yeah. kind of him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was supposed to be last week. So yeah. I, if, we any time, if anybody wants us back on, oh, yeah, just ask away. Oh no, I'll happily have you back on. It's been an absolute pleasure, my friend. <laughs> That's all right. You're welcome. So yes, thanks everybody for watching. Yes, and don't forget, guys, if you're not subscribed to Geordie Paul, there is a link in the description to it. So, there we go. <laughs> well, thank you very much, everyone, and I will see you next week for another episode. Bye-bye.